Good morning, friends. Welcome. So originally, I didn't know what I was going to stream today. We were, had it, no man's part of me. We had a bunch of humankind on the schedule. And then I went and did like almost eight hours <laughs> of humankind yesterday. Completely pushed through our whole thing. And I had so much fun playing No Man's Sky the other day. I thought we'd be back with more. So we're going to go to space. Was it the, the last place uncorrupted by capitalism? Yeah. And today I want to fly around. I want to have a cozy day. And I want to see if we can't find ourselves a free upgrade to our multi-tool. Let's explore the world. Have a chill time. Heck yeah. You ready, everybody? Ready for cozy day? You know, cozy Sunday in space together. What's up, K2Los? Thank you so much for 17 months in that prime. I appreciate it. Am I referencing Tim Curry or Portal? Tim Curry. What happens in Portal? I don't remember a space reference in that game. <clears throat> oh, I never clicked on the orb the other day. Remember we explored that random... We explored that random system. There was a big old orb and people said, click on it last, and I just forgot. Portal 2 specifically? I played it. I don't remember the space reference, though. Space is a lie? Hmm. Let's give the game a second to sort of figure its life out right now. Hello? <clears throat> Alright, we're in a slightly different location. I logged out in the anomaly at the end of the last stream, but I hopped back in. So that Max and I could try and figure out some multiplayer stuff. So we could try and make the big dripper system happen. And now I'm in the same system I was before. I'm just in the space station instead of in the anomaly. So yeah. Space. That's right, Flouncy. Space. Alright, somebody's trying to call me. Hello? Hello? Where is there anyone out there? <laughs> is there anyone? Oh. Ah. It me, Surge. I tell the stranger I can hear them. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. Oh, it's Artemis. How did you find my voice? I found your ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. I'm gonna let you finish, but... It's outside. But I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like. Where are they? Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You lied to me. It lied to all of. The sound cuts out, but their face lingers, silent, before it, too, fades into nothingness. Ah. This must be Artemis. And they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. <laughs> all right. Well then. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, next plan. I have... Some relics. I have a navigation thing. So here's what we're going to do. Let's actually take half a second here and hop back to our base. Everything should be fine now. And process some goods, clean up our inventory, and then go for an adventure. What's up, Nalha? Thank you so much for that prime in three months. 
I appreciate it. Hello? Will, Will. Interloper? I have an effigy for you. Hey, what's up, X? They accept my gift with gratitude. Now, teach me your, the words of your people. <laughs> teach me about your your tongue. Oh, command. All right. So that has freed up one spot in our inventory and taught us one more word. How about you? Ooh, hello, sales gack. <laughs> All right, here's a gift. I accept my gift with gratitude. Excellent. Now teach me the ways of your people. You joined just as I slid back in. Amazing, Cleo. Uh, teach me about friendship. I learned the word for help. All right. So I have one more random symbol or thing I can give to you. Viking? No. All right. Oh, I can't do that. All right. You're increasingly tempted to pick this game up. It's very good. Uh, teach me about travel. Hey, what's up, Ingslayer? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for 21 months of tier two. Learn the Viking word for travel. Friend, help! Oh. Teach me more of your words. Maybe I could help. Trade. I've learned the word for trade. <laughs> God, I could talk to people forever here. Oh wait, another traveler. Wow, what are you? Another traveler. Amazing. Booting up the game for the first time since launch. That was me on Friday as a Tango. I hadn't played this game in ages. So I'm trying to give this back um, to the Viking, but they don't want this. Maybe this is for sale as opposed to for um, like a thing. Oh, let me see if this I can sell this, um, this fossil here. 1.8 mil provided the price is right. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I didn't sell it before when it was at negative point negative four percent, but I think I'll sell this for plus point one. Unless anybody knows unless anybody knows like a better place to sell it, I think taking the one point eight mil right now is a good call. Just caught up with a voting slayer? Fantastic. So spoilers are like, use your judgment, right? Obviously, I'd love to be able to discover things myself in the game. If you think it has the sort of payoff that if you were playing the game and somebody spoiled it for you, that would suck, then, you know, obviously don't tell me. But if you're like, oh, yeah, that dagger is... Hold on to it. You can just tell me to hold on to it, right? All right, we'll just sell this now. Make, make some quick money. You have to almost $3 million dues. Ooh, I got some Chivos. I got, nope, oh, where'd they go? Why didn't they show me that? Tame trader status, okay. Hey, good morning, the mayor cat. Right, so... Here's another thing to think about. We have a bunch of new upgrades for our multi-tool. I want to spend a bunch of time upgrading all of that, but our current multi-tool sucks. So I don't think it makes sense to upgrade our current one. You know what I mean? Morning, America. So here's my plan. Step one, let's go back to our base. Let's process all of this fluid and junk and get it out of our inventory. Once that is cleaned up, 
We'll come back here. We'll trade in this navigation data. We'll try and find a better multi-tool. Then we'll put all our upgrades into it. And then we'll do the storyline after that. Hold on to the dagger. It'll make an awesome letter opener. Perfect. That's the type. That's the type of, it, of insight I'm looking for, right? All right, back to Brutopia. I'm a little sad that we're going to lose our, like, super illegal, amazing X-grade upgrade for our tool, but, you know, so it goes. What's up, 10 piece of 8? How you doing, friend? All right. So, we want to begin processing all of the slime. Actually, hold on. I'm going to hold on to that because I'm pretty sure you're becoming. Oops. Just to hit again. I got that wrong. Say about the daggers. You get them often enough and need them rarely enough to just sell them. Okay, cool. All right. I will sell the dagger then. Thank you. Yeah, because I don't have. Inventory space is at a premium for me right now, right? Hey, good morning, snuggle foxes. Is it weird that you think of me in the morning when you drink your coffee? Well, that's very flattering. I mean, look, I, I stream every morning, and so maybe you've got this routine right now. It's programmed in my head that I think of James most mornings. Well... If I'm honest, I, I think of James on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. <laughs> there. Wait, hold on. Now I take this, because I have so much of it. Start refining it on this side. See, there we go. Now that's thinking with automation. You need to read the latest Bruise letter. We write about Peru. I think it's a very good one, personally. And then I'm excited next month's Bruise letter is going to be about the Japanese coffee siphon. All right, how are we doing here? See, look at this. Look at all these nanite clusters. I don't know if this is the most efficient way to be getting nanite clusters, but I'm happy. Got these now. So, um, what else am I doing here? Silica powder I can sell. Wiring loom we actually bought as an upgrade. Okay, so here's our sell stuff. Silica powder. Uh, what do I do with salvaged data? Oh, right, of course. That's our tech tree. Do I normally stream on the weekends too? Typically, I stream at 9 a.m. every day other than Tuesday, the Maricat. But most loading ready run major filming days are also on the weekend. So, like Saturday, for example, is the most likely to be interrupted. Interrupted is a weird way to phrase it but interrupted by like a lure filming days. Uh, let's just unlock all of these buildings here. Got a signal booster. All right, Hather, hazard protection unit. Wall mounted module that can be used to recharge users has a protection system. Cool, okay. This is all base building stuff now. Core habitation, maybe we'll get more recipes later. 
Silica powder can be turned into glass? Yeah, but silica powder is just dirt, so it's really easy to get. Alright, so this should be empty. This should now be done. Oh, I needed two more. Okay. Alright, so... Started the morning off. We got about another 100, 40, pardon me, another maybe 40 or 50 nanites. Let's head back to the base now. Base computer archives partially restored. Interact to learn more. I just interact. <laughs> Good morning, Evie. What did I just learn? It said check for more recipes. Okay, I think maybe that recipe that was lying to me. Good morning, odd hate. Or odd tate. I should stop saying hate. All right. Base computer archive available. Automated archive recovery process has restored additional data. Interact with it to search the archives. What? I, didn't I literally just do that? Tate works well? Okay. Oh, the base computer. I clicked on the wrong thing. This is what I needed to click on. My bad. Archive recovery in progress. Morning, Raincoast Bear. Yeah, it's raining out here. Isn't it lovely? Data recovered. 6%. 6%? Let me search the archives. Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded. Copying data to... Additional data available. Construction logs. Blueprints. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. All right. Base technology data extracted. Storage container. Hey, we have ch ooh, we have chests. Chat. I can put all my stuff in boxes. Um, hello. That was weird. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. No. Are we William Shatner? Look, the way it's so hard to read the dialogue because it's always interrupted. So it's either William Shatner or Dave's spokesperson. Yeah, pick pick one, right? Uh. All right, so did I get any new tech? No, I got nothing, nothing good. Okay, so if I wanted to make a chest, and believe you me, I do, I need 35 magnetized ferrite. Okay. 35 magnetized ferrite. So I should start with regular ferrite. Sorry, I need 35. And I think this is a 2 to 1 ratio. Let's do 70 there. Yeah, they got chess, Gwaldhar. Making you want to start a new file? I mean... Look, that's the streamer curse, right? And if you do start a new one, Vintage Thithy, and you want to hang out with some people, in the Discord, people have been planning our very own base system. Uh, so far, the plan is to call it the Big Dripper. I don't know. Is, is anybody in chat able to give me a Big Dripper update? <laughs> Hold on. Do I have room for a chest in here? So how big are you? Oh, my God. That's a large chest. Uh, all right. My large chest goes outside. All right, and I probably need to power it. Excellent. Excellent. Hello! Ooh, wait. Oh, right. I was testing stuff with Max. That's so funny. Okay, wiring loom go in there. Microprocessors go in there. Metal plate go in there. Um chromatic metal go in there. So what we'll do is we'll keep the base... Oops, crap. We'll keep the base ones on us. 
But I've got 20 slots of storage. And people are telling me this is an ender chest. If I drop this down, I'll always be able to find it, which is very cool. Is storage 100% personal? Can you do shared community stuff? From what I saw, Cataclysmic Reverb, these are ender chests. These are stashes. So these are everyone you go to, and you can have different numbered ones. Everyone you go to is your own personal stash, but you can trade with people. Unfortunately, you have to, you have to hand it to them. And the way you do that is if you're in close proximity and you go to quick transfer, you can put it directly into their inventory. So Zenalee says, we found a nice paradise planet. The system is indeed named Big Dripper and portal coordinates are in the Discord. That's so cool. Oh my God. The Big Dripper is happening, chat. It's happening. Look, I play a lot of Minecraft. Of course, Ender Chest is the descriptor. <laughs> I should check that out at some point. Croco King and Zenali have been spearheading the stuff. I'm so happy to hear that. <clears throat> and since I'm not building it, y'all can't even bully me into making a canal. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right. I think our base stuff is about done here. Should I keep salvage data on me? Yeah, I may as well. I may as well. We're going to sell this. Of course, you can still bully me. Go. You think I would stop chat from bullying you about canals? I mean, I guess I was naive. What was I thinking? You're right. All right. Yeah, this is awesome. I have a chest. Uh, I don't think I need to wait for this to finish. Sorry, I don't know if I have to wait for this to finish. Can I leave the system and come back and this will be done? Because when I loaded back in, this was empty. It had no fuel. It had no other things. Yeah, I can just, I can just piece. I can bounce. Set it and forget it. Love it. All right, let's head back to that sky portal. Oh, it's sky portal. Let's head back to the space base. We're going to turn in our hard drive and see if we can't find a gun. All right, multi-tool upgrade is probably a better way of phrasing that. So yeah, that's going to be the next little bit. We're just going to basically try and loop through ancient remains over and over and over until we get better gear. Actually, hold on. I got I got money now. No, no, no. Let's try and get a free one. I don't have that kind of money. All right, which one of you is the navigator? Mission agent. Envoy. Cartographer. Here we go. <clears throat> I want a specific chart. And I want it to be a... It's alien cartographic data, right, chat? This is the one that has a chance to have sweet loot. I'm in need of a game to sink some downtime into. But seeing this has made me reconsider No Man's Sky, this game's sweet. Satisfactory is fun, too. Depends. Do you want to fly around or do you want to automate things? This one leads to treasure, so money. Oh, I don't want treasure. One of them apparently drops, like, straight ship upgrades, or, pardon me. This one leads to treasure. Is treasure always money? And the expectation is to buy better tools? Oh, it's always money. I thought one of these had a chance to give you... You can get factory automation as well. Yeah, I thought this was the one that was going to drop us. How do you find guns in the world? Because I was led to believe I could just find one out there waiting for me. Waiting to be discovered. Most of the time you have to buy it. Now, what are the, what are the situations which I don't have to buy it? 
You don't get space rich by spending money, chat. They hold blueprints for new products. Okay. Distress signals, maybe a new ship. Ancient artifact sites. Some settlements can do it. Multi tools are typically found in space stations or outposts. It's random and you can find S class tools faster that way. In space stations or outposts. All right, I'm going to do the planetary chart then. Let's get some money. Maybe we can buy one. Three multi-tools are exceedingly rare. It's not very efficient. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's just do this. Let's get ourselves some money. And then I guess... I guess in the space station, the old base, there's actually like a pretty good one. And if we have a couple a couple million dollar dues, maybe that'll be enough. Oh, right. I wanted to sell the uh, the dagger and the dust before we went out on an adventure. We have some inventory space. All right. You ready, friends? Wealthy systems have better chances or good tools. Okay. The problem is, I don't really want to start jumping from system to system yet. I don't quite have the money for it. Hey, good morning, bro. I want to try and invest in me. <laughs> in game ways just to go onto Reddit? Nah, that, that, ain't, that ain't me. All right. So, we're looking for... Wait, do I have to eat those coordinates first? Alien monolith detected. Oh, gee. Oh, no. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I accidentally did a U-turn and flew back into the space station. Ignore me. Hey, good morning, Momotats. Hey, what's up, Alcor? Thank you for 19 months, friend. All right, let's fly past this station here. It's kind of funny. Who doesn't love a chance to resub? Most cinemas bun ever. Oh my god. Watching the enthusiasm and positivity for new games. Yo, thank you very much, friend. All right, let's go fast. Three, two, one. Shield your eyes. Ah, the twitch compression. I apologize. I don't know if that made it better or not. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll open our inventory so you don't have to look at that. We are on the Yon Beta world now. All right. Hello. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Careful. Careful. Slowly. Gentle. Good. All right. Perfect controlled landing. Hello? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect controlled landing. First try. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's my policy on future info? I Look, use your judgment. In general, I like to discover things. I mean, that's part of the fun in a new game like this, right? If I ask for help, go ahead and help. Don't necessarily just, like, shout out and volunteer things. Hey, thank you very much, an anonymous friend, for gifting a sub to Rosewood. It's very thoughtful. I need more air. But if there's a moment and I'm like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Help me out. I'm like, ah, perfect. The streamer has asked for help. 
All right, we've learned the Viking word for in. Learn the Viking word for this. In this house? Please tell me it's house. What's the last one? Oh, with. Okay, fine. All right, what did we get? Viking. Viking. I feel a strange chill. A layer of frozen gas suddenly coats the monolith. From bottom to top. It's so cold I can see my breath inside the helmet. Are you sure it's not the frost planet I'm on? Hey, Vintage Spiffy, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Interloper. Amazing. There's one small gap in the ice, and I feel convinced that I could feed some of my mind elements through it so they can come into contact with the monolith behind. I can give it an organic element... I could give it a catalytic element. I give it a catalyst. My elements are not returned. It was a test and I failed? That cost me my only map. Ah, just look out on this valley and be sad. Actually, that's a great question from Astra. Is that random? Or is there always a correct answer? Hey, Arashi, what's up, friend? Thank you for 14 months. What coffee am I enjoying today? We're drinking something from Burnwood Coffee. Oh, if you know the language, you can figure it out? Mmm. So I didn't have enough words, I guess. All right, so that's bad. Uh, I need launch fuel. Technology need to make more launch fuel. Which I need for metal plating. There we go, we got a spare launch fuel just in case. Oops, that was the wrong button. So, I guess I'm going to randomly... Let's fly around on the planet and just try this again. Let's try the old brute force method. Because <laughs> I can ping for structures, right? Good morning, Sirius Tyru. What's that? That's a rock. Okay. <laughs> okay, good talk. Sure is a whole lot of nothing out here in space. <laughs> Good morning, Lexi. Oh, wait, 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 I found something. No, 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 sorry. I think people are telling me that the things that appear on my radar are galactic. Those aren't necessarily on the world, right? On the planet. So I also have a totally sweet other ship that we could work on upgrading as well. But I don't want to. I don't want to leave the surface of this planet empty-handed. I just flew over a structure, did I?
I mean this. That's literally impossible for that to have been what you're talking about. Oh, this is a crashed ship. Oh, hello. The opulently furnished interior suggests the dead pilot once belonged to one's race's more influent or affluent families. Families, oh my god. The cause of its mid-flight demise is unclear, but the ship is likely to be carrying cargo. Hey, hey, hey. Have I made any hyperspace jumps yet? I have jumped exactly one system. So this is the system after the tutorial system. The body lies draped over a large box covered in dangerous-looking alien markings. A strange black mist surrounds the scene. Ooh. Mysterious forbidden box? Or generic loot? I open the box. Maybe this is, maybe this is the totally sweet uh, weapon upgrade we wanted. What's in the box? As I open the box, a dark energy channels through me like poison. But is it poison? The tech I find within the container has come at a cost. Plasma launcher, a high impact projectile weapon. Launched plasma shells bounce off surfaces until their internal timer triggers a large explosion. Okay. Cool. And it costs me 30% of my health. This is another reason why we need to upgrade our... Uh, why we need to upgrade our weapon. So we have actual slots for all this cool stuff, right? Now we can blow up doors? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure previously our door opening technology was flawless. Thank you very much. Hey, guess... Wait, I bought an Atlas Pass. Hold on. Time out. Didn't I literally buy an Atlas Pass at the end of the last stream? This is V1. I bought V1. I bought the recipe? You have to craft it? Oh, no. Hey, anti Malfun, Thank you so much for eight months. Good morning. Glad you found a new game you love. Just started Forager. Oh, yo. I streamed Forager when it uh, first came out. It's a lot of fun. Hope you're having a good time, Auntie Muffin. Atlas Pass. Oh! Why don't, I, why don't I just craft that right now? You know what's interesting? It said I needed a, a like, microchip on me. And I don't have those on me. Oh. You know where I did have them, though? Was back... Launch fuel. Was back in my storage room. So it looks like... It actually looks like... Items that are in your chest you can craft with, even if they're not on you. Does that make sense? Alright, got some condensed carbon out of the box. Because, like, I didn't have any of that in on me, right? At the start of the stream, y'all watched me put that away. Yet, somehow. Alright, let's find out about this ship here. So, this ship is a C-Class Fabricator. And... Do I have the microprocessor recipe? I Maybe? Maybe? You do pull it from your storage if you're in the base, if I recall correctly, but I don't think you can do it unless you're within range. I'm not within range of my ship either. Maybe I just looted one? Oh, okay. Launch system recharger, S-Class.
Ship looks like a lot of work. Yeah, and it's only a C-class. We have a ship that's a lot of work. That's like a way cooler than this one too. Yeah, we have an A-class. We have an A-class starter ship at home or fix fixer-upper at home. We can worry about that one later. All right, let's just do a little quick look about. Anything new to scan here? Claim it anyway and sell it for scrap. All right. So this will be my third ship. We'll figure out what the old uh, ship flopper, ship flipper process looks like later, you know. But that might be a lot of work. We'll see. We'll see if we feel like it's worth. Oh, hey. Gek Relic. Cool. Antimatter. Oh, great. Wow. I just got a free antimatter? That's huge. Condensed carbon. What do I get from this one? Oh, condensed carbon. Navigation data. Yo! All right. We can actually head back to the space station now. Look at this. Look at this good stuff we just got. Yo! So we could actually head back to the station if we wanted to and... Try our hands at an alien whatever again. I don't hate that idea. Yeah, anti-muffin, not anti-matter. Sorry, friend. Or the other way around. Well, I think we can easily say that buying the Atlas Pass has paid for itself already. That's huge. Uh, sodium here. Can't. God, I get so distracted in this game. Look, I can't just leave money on the floor, right? Be rude. There's one more drop this way. Okay, where'd it go? Up the hill? No. Subterranean relic? No. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's grab that subterranean relic. Get distracted in every game. Do I, though? Ooh. Secret tunnel. Let's make this secret tunnel entrance a little bit wider. Our job here. Wait, is our job to catalog things or? Is... Hold on. Was this just a hobby we picked up? Photography is really just my passion. Hey, more cubes. These are worth good money.
don't like the noise in this cave, that's for sure. My job is whatever I decide it is, that's fair. Please let me out. Nope. Game, please. Oh god. Help! <laughs> Fine. If you want to play that way, let's do this game. Tunnel my way out. How dare you. Oof. <laughs> my job is to escape the cave. Yes, very good. Okay, back to the space station. Then back down to the surface of a planet to get loot for real this time. All right. Compression in three, two, one. All right, so the secret tech to open the menu just so I don't destroy everybody's eyes. I kind of like that. Nearby object of interest detected. Slow down. Did I... Oh, hello? Incoming channel. Interloper? In Viking with? The trader doesn't speak like the other merchants I've met. And they appear to be a specialist, carrying the most unusual items. I can bargain for a relic? Wait, hold on. What is a relic for $850,000? That seems not worth. Hold on. What, what, what? Or 300 condensed carbon gets me a relic. Well, one of these is a whole lot less than the other. Let me buy this one. The trader sends me the relic and leaves, happy to have spread whatever it is they think that they're spreading. What did I get? I got a chest of silk. It's worth 750,000 units? What? Um, I mean, that seems super worth. <laughs> what? Oh, hilariously, could I have traded the dagger to them? What's the worth of 300 condensed carbon? Not that much. Uh, condensed carbon is worth about 8,000 units. So I feel like... Uh... Hold on, where's the, where's the space station? I feel like we profited on that particular exchange. Did somebody just shoot at me? Oh, option one would have been the dagger? That's so funny. Really? Alright, let's um let's do some town stuff real quick here. Are we the baddies? No. No. Oh, you're visited. I need to find one that hasn't been visited. up roughly 21 smurfs i visited you aha gra are you dan interloper look how much we've learned where is viking command the warrior looks confused as i approach oh why wait hold on i can't open my inventory 
Oh, I have Gek relics, not Viking relics. All right. Um, hey, hook me up with uh, more of your language. I've learned the word for ancients. Okay. The Gek are the weird... These ones. You've been visited. Appa has also been visited. How long have I been live? Since 9 a.m., so 45 minutes. Oh, 8K was the value of 300 in my inventory, not an individual one. I made good money. All oh, right, this is the gun that sucks. Yeah, there's a better one at the, the first system. Right, right, right. Remember now. There's no one to talk to here. Regardless, okay, so here's our new plan. Get that map, get that loot, go back to the first system, buy that gun. Uh, something, something, something profit, right? Did you have the backpack upgrade? Yep, I'm two for two for back rate, backpack upgrades at stations. Draw, honorable, the Viking, with and with. Alien cartography. All right, let's dump some stuff in our inventory here. Specifically the... Oh, the chest is at minus 5%. We'll wait. We'll hold out on that. Uh, where'd my little space cubes go? There they are. What? Minus 5%? Whatever. I don't care. I've been to the anomaly. That was at the end of the first stream. I've talked to literally all the Gek here already. Is there only the two of you? Have I been looking at the same two of you over and over? Yes. Okay. No, I couldn't trade them a dagger because I didn't have it anymore. I couldn't trade them the dagger because I sold the dagger. All right. So let's eat this map. loot. Wow, look at all these. God, there's so many ships here. Alright, chat. Brace. Brace for hyperspeed. Should have sold my gold and silver. Whatever, we'll do that next time. Oh god, what have I done? Aha! God, I'm so good at video games. Initiating landing sequence. Oh, unknown building. All right, we'll check that out after. 
We'll do that in a second here. Ooh, life support system. Man, we're getting good stuff here. My multi tool is pretty slick. It'll get better. It'll get even better. All right, I've learned the word for B. All right. Are there hostile creatures? Yep. Learned the word for A. B A. Must be A. Hmm. What are they trying to communicate? Gra. Of the. Hmm. Very good. There are three vast columns of words on the ancient structure, each written in a different alphabet. The first column's words are like savage runes scratched in sand. The second shows a precise sequence of dots. The final column has wide and welcoming letters, almost appearing handwritten in the stone. All right, chat. I clearly picked the wrong one last time. You have to guess which language from how you were announced. Runes, dots, or letters, chat. Runes, dots, or letters. Savage runes, precise dots, or welcoming letters. All right, Frank says runes. Tyru, runes. We all on team runes here? You think runes since the tone of the message is aggressive? All right, just push all the buttons at the same time. The ancient spirit that dwells in here infuses me with the language of their warrior descendants. Oh, all right. I learned a couple of words. I have increased standing. But what I didn't get, what I didn't get was loot. <clears throat> we wanted loot. So we're over two on getting paid for these. All right, let's walk 300 meters and go uh, figure this out. Get some more oxygen in our system real quick here. Viking is savage, precise is Korvax, the other is Gek. So it depends on which system you're in. Oh, that's good to know. So because we're in a Viking system... Neat. Isn't knowledge the ultimate loot? Knowledge can't buy me a better multi-tool. Very philosophical of you, but doesn't help me specifically in this circumstance. <clears throat> that was five new words? All right. Hello. You know what this reminds me of? This is 100% the drop pod that Space Marines use in 40k. Wow, is this just a free upgrade? Shattered power core. Damaged electrode. Need a carbon nanotube. How do I get an antimatter housing? Actually pretty cheap. Cool. Free inventory slot, chat. Anything else nearby? 
What's that? Buried mineral formation. No. What's that? Health restorative. And I can summon my ship to here? Is that how that works? Oh, it's just a save point. Never mind. Feel like you're gonna have to buy this game. It's a good game. It's a good game. Do you know the trick where you punch and then jump? Yep, it's literally what I've been doing. The problem is my sprint and my jetpack run out really fast, so it doesn't look like it. But I'm doing it. That's as far as I get. <laughs> Yeah, the game is 50% off right now. In honor of the new Whatchamadoodle that came out. And then, uh, very, very minor plug. But if you're able to buy it on platforms that have affiliate codes, if you're not too picky. So, for example, Humble pays me. Epic pays me. Steam does not pay me. But you do, you do what you gotta do, right? nice thing about affiliate codes is they don't cost you anything. You go a long way to support your favorite game. Is there much DLC? There is 18 free updates since the game came out. There's so much content to this game. And none of the DLC costs anything. It's all included with the purchase of the base game. <clears throat> right, rather, it, there's no DLC. It's all free expansions. Yeah. All right, let's talk about our plan really quickly here. I'm pretty sure all I want to do is fly back to the star station, the space station. How do I, um, here's a quick question. How do I switch ships if I want to switch a ship to repair and flip it? X menu? Cool. Okay. What's up, Margie RG? Thank you for eight months. Can I do that in a space station or no? No? Okay, I have to... Alright. Okay. I've got a plan. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Hi. Really, you really, you know, need to say something before just showing up like this. It's very startling. <laughs> Go to your base, change ships, then portal to get to the station. Okay, cool. Look at me learning to fly like a boss. Yeah. You don't even have to switch ships once you scrap it. Your main will spawn. Cool. Okay. All right. So here's the plan. Time to jump around a little here. So the only thing I'm sad about switching with our multi-tool is we are going to lose this X-Class scanner that gave us mad bank whenever we scan stuff. A 
I think we can afford the old tool, or the new tool, rather. Don't worry too much about losing your X-Class stuff, that's fair. Actually, hold on, maybe there's some people I can talk to. Yo, Gek. How you doing? Here's a gift. All right, now teach me your language. It's not even that good. You'll get better stuff later. Yeah, but it's the best that I have currently. Look, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Oh, you can give the same treasure to the same person over and over. No kidding. Friend, Gek Trading Federation. Cool. Here, have another gift. All right, what else do I have on me? Uh, I have this Viking effigy. Will you accept that? For favor? Yes, you will. Teach me a word. God, I have so many words to learn. Maybe I should learn more aggression words because they're so aggressive. Oh, thank you very much to whomever used my affiliate code there. Appreciate you, friends. Teach me about travel. I've learned the word for journey. Okay. Will you buy my silk for a fortune? Hey, there we go. All right. We are sitting on 3.5 mil. 3.5 mil. How much is that? How much is that weapon upgrade? Happy affiliation. Thank you, Sirius Tyru. What's up, Kraken? When you first slay the spy run, amazing. Hey, another purchase with my humble affiliate code. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate the support. All right, which one was the gun salesman? Is that you? Wait, hold on. This weapon sucks. This is not, this was not the one we saw. We saw like a totally busted one, right? Where did that one go? Did they re-roll? Oh, they change? No! Uh, oh, that's the worst news. It was like A class and it had 30,000 slots. Boo. I was led to believe if I came back here, I'd be able to dump that. Okay, well, let's uh, let's shift gears for a second. Let's try flipping a ship really quickly. Digital Forte says, every time the bot says join the brew crew, I have a split second of confusion because my baseball team is the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay. <laughs> I like it. The multi-tool is different in every single system. Yeah, but I went back to a known system thief in because there's a totally sweet multi-tool here that I couldn't afford before under the impression that that was locked in, you know? And I think it was actually at the advice of chat. Not, you know, not to throw chat under the bus. If you go back to the other system, you saw the nice one in. I, literally what I'm doing. And it's gone. It's gone! <clears throat> it's locked in for a time period, but not forever. Yeah, it happens. Maybe it's because I hopped into a multiplayer game and it re-rolled it. I don't know. Alright. Perfect. My ship is here. As you can see, it landed perfectly. And I have to uh, I have to knock down a wall so I can get out. Uh, Z, Z, C.
All right, let me let me summon one of our our fixer upper ships here. All right, so this is the one that we want to keep, but we can't afford. This is the one that we want to. Well, how are you landing if you're so smashed up? All right, so I need to repair. I need pure ferrite. I just need to repair the pulse engine and the launch thruster, right? So I need a hermetic seal and a metal plating. Oops. Alright, and now from the launch thrusters, I need 50 pure ferrite, which I get from the oven. I'm sorry, my other ship is still just parked there? Oh my god. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. You know, I'm just going to leave that wall off. Pure ferrite? Wasn't that what I just made? Did I not pull it out of the oven? Oh, that's embarrassing. Yep, sure, just left it. Alright. So I should be able to repair the starship from here, right? There we go. And that's all I need to do, right? So this ship is now... This ship is now sellable, is that correct? Because it has a fixed launch thruster and it has a pulse engine. So now here's the next question. How do I how do I actually go about selling a ship? Right, right, right. There's a uh, there's a ship vendor, right? Nope, nope, nope. It's not what I wanted to click on. Do you have to fly to the station? Can I just teleport to the station? Portal to the station, use the terminal next to the customization. Okay, cool. That's what I was hoping for. Sorry, let's just start cooking some gunk before we bounce. You don't even sell it to get scrap. Oh, okay. I don't really want to do base building stuff to Maricat. That's like the part of the game I'm the least interested in. So the scrapper, I believe, is on the opposite side. There might be some optimizations and stuff I could be doing better in my base, and i just, like, not interested in checking that out. I play enough base builders. All right, so the correct ship showed up. Good. You'll get parts to sell for units, possible upgrades, and possibly some ship storage slots. Okay, so this is the scrapper, right? Drones deployed, okay, to the Baraka Fabricator the Third. 
claim scrap worth 205,000. Okay. Alas, Babylon. Thank you for 16 months. Can't believe how well this game recovered from its roots. Yeah, right? All right. Well, I'm going to melt it. Let's see what happens. Warning. All cargo will be just Wait, I haven't actually checked if I have any cargo on it. What do you mean don't scrap that one? I thought we were literally scrapping it. Do I have anything on the starship in the cargo? No, there's nothing on there. Okay. I thought literally the plan was to scrap it. Why are you telling me not to scrap it now? So I have three ships. I have my starter ship, which we want to keep. I have my fixer upper ship, which this is not. And I have the third ship. Which literally the whole plan, the whole plan was to flip it, right? Yeah, we're scrapping it. We're scrapping it. Yeah. Repair and scrap is a good way to make some cash. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, ship. $205,000 dues. It's not a lot of money, honestly. Salvage components will be added to our exosuit automatically. All right. So what I get? Ooh. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Once useful springs. So. Thermal panels. Okay. Reinforced piping. 100,000, 50,000. Uh, storage augmentation. A technological module harvested from the remains of a salvage starship. Can be used to expand the starship storage capacity. All right. <clears throat> we got a handful of useful cogs. We also got a phase beam module, a moderate upgrade to the starship's phase beam, as well as a shield module. Ahem. <clears throat> So I imagine I want to keep these three and then sell everything else. Oh, we can sell the modules for nanites since they're only C tier. Okay. But my current ship kind of sucks too. <clears throat> Thanks for walking me through this, by the way, chat. I feel like I'm learning a lot here. I have, I have a ton of stuff I need to sell really quickly though. Let's go to a vendor now, which I believe is on the opposite side. Do I upgrade my current ship? Hold on. Oh. <clears throat> How do I even use upgrades? You wish you kept your starter ship? Mm. This is the best way to get nanites. Scrap a ship and sell their upgrade modules. Oh, okay. But we keep this for the, the ship that we want to like eventually be our main ship. This is what you keep. <clears throat> Pretty sure I bought... I've bought... I've been to two stations and I bought two storage upgrades. Alright, let's start selling some stuff. Sell the ammunition. Don't really care about ammunition yet. Yeah, I'm going to sell the cogs. Technology module harvested. Okay, we keep this. Ooh, wow. Ionized cobalt? It's worth some good money. I don't think I need that either. All right, whatever. I'm selling everything. Oh, we have another cartographer thing. When did I get that? Keep this. Sell these cogs. Uh, sell the gold. Sell the silver. Sell the gold. Sell the cube. Uh. 
So if I want to sell those upgrades, I guess I need to do it to the ship vendor on the other side, eh? But yeah, getting more nanites seems sweet. When I got this kind of money, I just waited for a nice ship to land and bought it. <laughs> that's fair. I don't know. I kind of like the fixer upper ship that we have. I think that's kind of cool. Maps for inhabited outpost? Okay. All right. You're the, the ship person. Maybe I can sell you. You're pathetic. Thanks. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. 120. Alright, so here's my next plan. What do we know what the best way to do this plan is? There's no good guns currently available on two space stations we've been to. So what if we went back the space anomaly? Hold on. Okay, a long distance transmitter. What if we go back to our current meta quest progress? Maybe do another jump. Maybe get to the next system. And then from there, check out the next yeah, let's go to the new, let's go to the new system. See if we can't get a better gun there. I don't want to go too far. I do want to upgrade stuff, but I also don't want to like spin my wheels and go in circles. You know what I mean? So we'll get to the new system. We'll use the navigation data to get us started. Oh, let me sell the silica powder. I guess the one thing I could do is I could go back to my base really quickly and throw the storage augmentation in storage. I think that's a good call. Let's head back to Brutopia here. Pew. Augmentation data goes into their antimatter will need to actually initiate the jump, so that's important. Navigation data we need on us as well. So I think this is good. Hey, look, there's no ship in the middle of our... Uh... Middle of our base this time. No kind. Alright, all we have here is... Oh, I even had an extra warp cell. Amazing. Pretty sure everything I have on me, the kind of stuff I want. I'm a little bit low on carbon. Let's actually take a second here and collect some carbon before we bounce. I'd rather collect carbon in a safe environment than get on a hostile planet and realize I'm out, you know? <laughs> that seems bad. See, that's where Snurge and I differ. Snurge, easily distracted. Me, on the other hand. Laser focused at all times. Hello? How we doing? Let's grab a little bit more carbon. Got 300. Let's get about 500. I don't actually know what that number is based off of other than being a nice round number. I 
I do really need to upgrade my multi-tool, though. Like, it takes forever to mine stuff. Holy moly. That is so many humble purchases. Purchases. Thank you very much, friends. Appreciate the heck out of all y'all. There we go. All right. All right. You ready for some proggers? Oh. <laughs> Good job, ship. You tried. You tried. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. At least it's not inside, yeah. No, a landing pad implies that I want to invest any time and energy into my base, which I assure you I don't. I assure you I don't. <laughs> All right. Um, since the gun at the other one changed, sorry, multi-tool. I need to say multi-tool. Let's see if this one updated to something that's cool, too. They give you a free liftoff? Yes, but if I never take off, I never need a free liftoff, do I? That implies I ever want to fly on this planet. S-Class or bust, baby. That's not true. I'll easily settle for A. New to the game and it looks very pretty. It is very pretty. Wait, hold on. Am I wait? You're very pretty. Boom, roasted. There we go. Am I doing it right? Okay, so here's the plan. Mission target is in another system in space. Consult with the galaxy map. Right, I have to do that outside. Oh, why is it back in that system? No! What? Why? <laughs> Dang, another one. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess we're going back. All right. Uh, don't mind me. Just have to do a little U-turn here. What? Why? I wanted to move forward, not backwards. Is because I clicked on the quest when I was in that previous system? Rock, paper, scissor. Amazing. Give me a second. Teach me an word. Teach me the word for friend. Oh, I learned please. Okay, okay. this early dangerous the better forever game no idea i'm sorry dang that's a big humble purchase thank you so much i have to look all the way over at like the twitch preview to see that those alerts don't show up in my uh my normal stuff but my heart it's feeling so fast thank you everybody You got the whole new Destiny expansion? Amazing. Elite Dangerous is more of a simulator game? Mmm. I 
Is it still profitable to just like hunt and shoot asteroids or no? Now hold on a second here. Where am I going? Locate a long distance transmitter. What? Oh, there it is. How did that happen? All right. Let's go, chat. Three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> Asteroid hunting is good for collecting tritium, and that's about it. Okay. It's not bad for, like, gold or silver either. Hmm. Entering like a sore prime. Initiating landing sequence. Ooh, look at this. Hello. Um, what do I learn? I learned the Viking word for butt. Teehee. Got an effigy. Okay. Some Mordite. Target aligned 600 meters this way. Okay. I need to learn the word for soft. That is an old desert bus bit that I haven't thought about in a very long time. That one's two years old? Butterflies. This way. Oh. Have I scanned all these plants already? Sure have. Alright. Okay. It's carbon. Some type of mysterious cube. Ooh, antimatter. That's a good hit. Where am I going? Oh, I'm not there yet. Okay. What else do we have here? We've got buried technology module, which I don't really think I care about too much. Oh, Brutopia. Oh, we can see home. I can see home from here, chat. Some knowledge stones. Yeah, okay, let's get distracted for half a second here. 
Oh my god, more coffee. My love. Oh! Oh! Burning tech modules can also give you equipment upgrades? Well, heck, what is this? Wait, I could I could have just taken off here. We'll summon our uh, we'll summon our ship back. Played for five hours on Friday. Nice, Kazzy. Nice. Life support. Never used one of those yet, but I imagine they're good. Some bullet. This is a ship summon, right? You know what? Come to me. Uh, not... They, oof, I almost got crushed. <laughs> Mysterious tube. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Apparently this is a space ladder. Okay. I have a jetpack. Why am I climbing a ladder? It's polite. Holographic comms tower. Oh, what do you need? Oh, I just, just need to give you a little bit of salt. Okay. Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection to Artemis. Hello? I try and locate their frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. Who's there? It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream? God, I hope so. I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong. It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker in my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Who is Artemis? The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you, a traveler. These... What is this dialogue? So, like, are... Is it just me or do both people in this conversation not know how to talk like normal people? Like, what... What is happening here? What do you mean? They don't respond with speech. They instead, they transmit a vision of a red star and a fragile world. I don't understand the shapes, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see a stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream world. And through the darkness, I hear it say, Anomaly detected.
Designation, Traveler, Awaken. What I showed you just now has a haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too? We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to... To finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you have that data log from the crashed ship? I upload the data. I'm not like other aliens. Yeah, right? I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Yeah, what is this? A lot of people are talking about it a lot, right? Right? Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know your signal, how it's reaching me. But this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, you should be able to triangulate your position. I can hesitate or agree with the plan. I'll be able to find my way out and you'll get the answers you seek. Sure, just say yes. Thank you, traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Look, I'm not going full Shatner. I'm just reading the lines as they're given to me, okay? This isn't deliberate. When they put that many pauses and commas in, how else do you deliver it? This isn't on me. Hey, the Woogly, thank you so much for three months. Thank you for your new bean. Oh. All right, well, let's go to this knowledge stone and then let's think about what we're doing. Ow, that was deliberate. I meant to do that. What's up, everybody? Welcome. I'm adding a couple of pauses. If I just read the scent. All right, you know what? I'll read the next dialogue as flat as possible. Let's see if you enjoy. Oh, that's a hole. See if you enjoy that. All right. What do you want from me? I, on the other hand, just want this free, this free range knowledge left on the planet here. Coincidentally, I've learned the word for high. And it. Ooh, loot. All right, I'm now healed. Got bullet. I just need blaze. <laughs> Alright, I got another effigy, which is good news. Another effigy. Ooh, a relic? Heck yeah, let's go. So many bullets. Oh, oh, new friend. Where'd it go? I went to get closer and it's gone. So the red dot is a life form that I haven't scanned before. God, it was so fast. Where did it go so fast? Oh, could be underground. Maybe it burrowed. Cool. I have learned the Viking word for Gek. Nope. It's in the sky. What are you? Oh, it's a little insect. Cool. 
Yeah, those are worth good money. 14 grand? Heck yeah. Sorry, I... Look. I see the knowledge stone, I follow the knowledge stone. I am but a simple man. for have. Alright, so let's check out this quest. Triangulate your position. Place your first beacon. You have visited several planets. Visit several planets and build signal boosters in order to find them. Okay. Let's go back to our ship and let's drop it there, right? Oh, my jetpacks. So, interesting thing I've learned about jetpacks. This game doesn't have a certain amount of jetpack charge. It's either on or it's off. Oh. Ow! I'm so far away! How did you hurt me? Bad. Bad plant. I'm going to breathe you for that. Completely lost my train of thought. Oh, it shot an airwave at me. I thought it was a bitey one. Right, right, right. Jetpack. So, what I was hoping to do when I crossed that valley was, like, hit spacebar and tab and break the fall quickly. But that's not how it works. It's like, oh, geez. It's like you start the jetpack... And then you have to land to recharge. Alright. So it's time to build our first triangulator on this world. We hit Z. Signal booster, right? That is what I want, correct? Build a signal booster. Okay, to build a signal booster, I require... One nanotube, one metal plate. Easy. Easy. Probably have to power it or no? Use the signal booster to triangulate your position. I'm glad that it comes with solar panels. Outpost signal detection online. Navigation subroutes online. Exosuit upgrade detection unit online. Ooh. In case it isn't obvious, these are portable and you want to pick it up after you're done. I didn't know that, actually. I imagine I had to leave three on different worlds. Uh, tr oh, wait. Hold on. Locate nearby structures. Can I do more than one task? Can I do both? Let's get greedy. Heck yeah, what are you? Drop pod. Okay. Alright, now let's triangulate. Triangulate. 33% done. So, correct me if I'm mistaken, but this wants me to fly to three different planets and do this three times, is that correct? Do I go on foot? 700 meters? I'll just go on foot. All right. Pick me back up. Let's have a little... Let's have a little adventure. Shall we? Hey! 
Look at this, a free word. Oh my god, so many free words. Alright, we learned the word for blood. Some jelly. Delicious and nutritious jelly. And Surge never reached the pod. Hey, how dare you? <laughs> Look, it's not my fault they left value just all over the place here, right? Got the word for do. This is going to be the word for host. <laughs> Glory. Awesome. Why are we learning words? There are... We're in an alien world, and obviously we don't speak the same language as everybody. So what you can do, and I actually really enjoy this part of the game, you can learn their tongue one word at a time. I think somebody told me the other day 2,386, or is it 200, 836, something like that. There's under three, there's between 2,000 and 3,000 unique words of the three different species in the world. You can learn their language and you can talk to them. You can push X, is it faster? Uh, apparently X doesn't work for that one. There's no option to press X. Aha! Another word. So yeah, we're trying to find these random tubes located all over the place. Look at them. They're everywhere. I learned the word for coward. Oh, yeah. I guess if a warrior calls me a coward, I want to know. Well, let's grab this carbon. Dang. Ah, the word for war. I've learned 50 words, chat. I'm pretty sure that does qualify me as a linguist. Like, look at all this good stuff we're getting. And now that we have the Atlas Pass, ooh. Antimatter housing. How am I doing for inventory space? Got another ion battery. Okay. Things that I can dump are probably... Ammunition. I've got three slots still. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, what are these? Venom sacks. Requires hadmat glove. Okay, I haven't done that yet. You can dump the mordite as well. Awesome. Paragon inevitable has entered the system. What the heck does that mean? Did a random other traveler, like player, just enter my world? What's up, Invitare? Oh, jeez. Somebody in chat has found me. Huh. All right. I need... Look at that. Got one of them. I just need to construct one uh, carbon tube. Quick friend and then block. <laughs> oh, not again. Not again. All right. Look at this. Another inventory slot upgrade. I think that's my fifth or sixth now. Hi, Invitare. Look, this... This planet ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh, you're probably way more powerful than me. Please don't come murder me. Let's just see if there's some random cubes in this cave. What a large, empty cave. I hope nothing is living in here. Be terrifying.
Yeah, beautiful thing about No Man's Sky, no cave spiders. God. This game would be so much worse if there were spiders in every cave you went into. I definitely do feel like- Oh my god! Was that you? <laughs> hey, what's up, Matt? Just got here. Took a bit to get all those cave spiders you ordered. No! Alright, let's head back to our ship. Unless. Unless. Oh, alright, that is you. Hey, what's up? Why is your ship so much cooler than my ship? Look at this thing. I'm gonna steal your ship. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well, that, that didn't work. Ow! It's a living ship? And there's a quest line to get it? Okay. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I'm just getting murdered by the, the fauna here. Don't mind me. Oh, my weapon is out of charge. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Oh, it's dead. All right. I was going to get my revenge there. There's a unique clam ship. Wait, hold on. What the heck is this? You have two? All right. Well, now you're definitely just flexing. All right. I see how it is. Well, hello, friends. So according to Invitare, it is daytime for them. It's nighttime for me. But apparently, uh, weather is synchronized. Can I see your freighter? I have no idea. There's nothing in the sky. Well, this is neat. Thank you for saying hi. I want to keep going on my quest line. All right. Where's my ship? I need. I might need to go pay visit to the uh, the big dripper at some point. How did you find me? I guess my. I guess the worlds are public, right? Neat. Yeah, they had a second ship in their pocket. <laughs> I have my secret sources. Ooh, I've learned the word for alert. Oh, the signal booster. Oh. As soon as you drop the signal booster, right. Does it do the, uh, the screenshot thing? Has the brew crew picked a world? I believe so. I believe progress is being made on Operation Big Dripper. Ow. I didn't think you'd actually see a player unless you have your settings open. I did because I wanted to test it the other day. Yeah, I am I'm down in general to try and have some community interaction in this game. I think it'd be really interesting. Uh in particular, once we once we set stuff up, like once the big dripper gets set up, I'd love to have that be sort of my base of operations. Like, why would I build a launch pad when I could you know, once we have chests set up and once we have a launch pad set up. I think it'd be really cool to stop by there. Figure that sort of stuff out. I am still pretty happy to, like, explore the game at my own pace. So I don't want to be... I don't want to be accelerated. I don't need, like, stuff given to me. But I think it'd be really cool to, to hang out and see what folks are up to, right? Sorry, I thought, thought maybe there was some loot here, but... Maybe not. No, no, don't fall in the mysterious cave. See? No idea if that's a player or not. Just 
you know, living in a universe that's populated with this community. How cool is that? That wasn't me. Okay. Okay, so I want to head to the next planet here. Let's just check stuff really quickly. Do I want to go to the space station and dump some stuff? I think I probably do before I before I head to the next world, just in case we find any loot, right? I've only got one, two, I've only got five open slots. How's my starship doing? Ah, maybe I have a bit more stuff than that. Might need to make one more launch fuel, though. Let's make a, let's make a couple metal plating here. Okay, so let's go to... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I thought I thought I saw the icon for a freighter. So maybe Invitari's freighter was in the sky there. Don't I already live in a universe populated by the community? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. All right, let's, uh, let's head to the space station real quick. Boop, 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 boop. You can move your shield and life support into the tech tab to free up some inventory slots. Move your shield and life support. Sure can't. Hey, what's up, Sarah Jen? Oh, I ran out of fuel. That's bad. Hold on, I need more I need more tritium here. There we go. Let's shoot some let's shoot some asteroids here. Get some more tritium. Surge in space. Space space. That's why I need that G fuel sponsorship. Mmm. Yeah, I wouldn't need to mine asteroids if I had. The delicious and nutritious taste of G Fuel. <laughs> uh, what's up, Jordan? How you doing, bud? Oh, new item! I got a Tritium Hypercluster. I'm going to analyze it. What did I find in it? Okay. So let's get another couple hundred here. What's up, Tide Hello Cat? I need to buy this game now? Yeah, apparently you're not the only person who said that so far, friend. So what do you have here? This is gold and silver, I guess? Did that kill me on the inside a little? Oh no. I've always said I'd be happy to sell out. My prices are quite affordable. I really need to upgrade, like, my ship. I need to get... I don't know. It's weird. I feel like... I feel like I'm putting it off for some silly reason. But I need to, like... Yeah. I need a better ship and I need a better multi-tool. Which is what I'm trying to do. Alright. So we got 200 extra here. That's fine. Okay. Let's go to... Where's the space station? Let's go to the space station. Let's sell some stuff. Let's finish this quest. As soon as we get to the next system, my plan is to try and flip my ship and get a better multi-tool. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll get better ship upgrades. We'll get better multi-tool upgrades. We'll get the advanced miner. I just feel like there's... I feel like there's things I want to do first, and maybe that's wrong. I have a way better ship on Drastics. We have we have like a an A class or B class ship. Hold on, is it under X? I can't show it right now, but this I have like a pretty dope ship.
Alright, anyways, first things first, let's sell that gold and silver. And then let's sell bullet. Let's sell... Oh, right, right, right. We want to talk to people and give them cubes and stuff. Hi. Death! 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 Warrior. They seem nice. The warrior is making snarling noises that sound strangely upbeat. Have an effigy. I accept it with gratitude. Yes, yes, yes. Death. Death, death, brother. I'm sure glad we learned that word. <laughs> oh man, I have so many effigies to give you. All right, maybe maybe teach me another word here. <laughs> uh, aggression. Maybe I could learn that other word. I've learned the word for sentinel. Great. All right, how are we doing here? I want to find a Gek and a Corvax. So here's a Gek. Friend! Gek Training Federation. All right, now I want to look for the Daft Punk looking people. There we go. Wait, hold on. Alright, I guess teach me a word? Teach me the language of your people. I've learned their word for them. So, is this... Corvax Convergence Cube? Oh, this is a cell thing. This isn't a... This isn't one of the things that lets me learn more about their language. Okay. I'm just going to sell this rusted metal. My signal booster is only worth a single dollar? Alright, hold on. I've got a map here as well. Let's get slightly distracted for a second. Hello, honorable warrior. The Viking with weapons. Alright. Let me... Let me try this again. All right, we got the alien cartography again. I hope we don't strike out. I know I said I was going to save it for the new world, but whatever. Maybe we can find something here. Wow, look at all these ships. Hold on, let's just take a look. Hello, interloper. They're clearly willing to trade, but don't want to show emotion. Make an offer on their starship. They have a C-class ship. Okay, the winged foe. Wow, look at all this. Look at all this room for activities here. How much? 2.3 million? God, ships are expensive, chat. So I could trade in 300,000 for it. Just curious. I'm just curious. You should be able to use your scanner to see all that. Well, let me try that after. So what do I do? Do I hit F for that? So they have a C-class ship? Oh my god. 5 million for 26 slots. Yeah, I think I'm just going to repair my ship rather than go through all this. So hold on. Uh, hit C. No. Hit F. Goodbye. Press Alt F4. Oh, lol, lol. Uh, this is a C15 plus 2. Okay. So you don't get to see all the information. You get a pretty good close. Oh, A31 plus 4 for the low, low price of $18 million? 
I need to see. I need to see. Wow. Eighteen million dollars. A twenty-eight or thirteen. All right, all right. In the grand scheme of things, it's a steal. The plus four is four tech slots. Okay. All right. So unfortunately. My quest isn't on this world. That's okay. It's about half the price of a graphic card. Oh, man. Uh, that just makes me sad. All right. Apologies for compression. Let's go ahead and hide that. As a note, you bought this game after the last stream and put four hours into it. Amazing. I got promoted to flag bearer. I saw that. I don't know what the significance of it is, though. But I'm glad they like me. You spent 200 million yesterday? Oh my god. All right. You and I are definitely operating on different economies of scale here. So I believe if I go higher up, I get there faster, just the way spheres work. Nope. Oh god, what have I done? Pretty easy to lose control. Alright, ten. Nine. Oh, it's on an island. That's so cool. We haven't really done any water stuff, have we? All right, slowly, gently, good. Oh, there's uh, lots of language nodes around here too, fantastic. Take a quick look around in our surroundings here. Aha! Finally! This is one of the ones that will give us the location of a second thing, right? Ancient knowledge passes through your fingertips. Awesome. None hamper the path towards... Dring Darg as the Sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written, so shall it come to be. Okay, give me knowledge of the past. So this is going to give us another location, and this second location might give us a new weapon, right? Historical data revealed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Or just money. You know, that money, that counts to you. What are these? Humming sack. Do I want do I want the sack? <gasps> A pearl? Ooh. Wow, these are worth good money. Ten thousand each? Don't mind if I do. like a Matryoshka doll right there. You learn the word for here. 
and victory. Armored clam. Uh huh. I love this. Those pearls are contraband? Okay. Have I picked up space drugs? Got another effigy. The planet is very pretty, yeah. Should I go after this clam? I'm kinda scared to get into the water. What if I can't get out? Let's just dip our toes in the water real quick and see what happens. Oh! I can breathe. Oh, right. I have oxygen suit. Right, of course. Of course I can breathe underwater if I can breathe in space. Ooh. Oh! There's fish! Where'd they go? Oh, I'm so slow in the water. Where do those fish go? Hold on, can I only see them if I'm in the water? Sorry, how do I go down? Oh, I have jetpacks. Aha! Fish! Amazing. Wait, what the heck are you? Crabs! Oh my god, I love this so much. Living Pearl. Living Pearl. What are you? Oh my god, another type of fish? Are you a predator? You look like you have teeth. No. Abyssal Horror. I don't like that. Abyssal horror. I hate that. I hate that that exists. But I also hate that I need to know what it is. Not even tickling it. Okay. Well, so much for that. I love this so much. I'm gonna be honest, uh, there's a little bit of fear in the back of my head that something is going to eat me, so I should probably get out of the water. You know, sooner rather than later, but here we are. Oh my god, look at the water actually going up and down too. I love that.
All right, let's learn a couple words and then let's uh, let's go follow the quest marker. Learn the word for all. Learn the word for battle. Good. I'm sure that'll come up a lot in everyday conversation. I think that's one more. Yes, it is. Right? Yes, it is. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, man. I'm never going to run out of distractions, am I? Ooh, the word for give. What's up, Kevin? Look, as our ocean apex predator of the chat, uh, any opinions on my adventures into the sea here? Hey, I learned multi-tool. Lilu dice and multi-tool. Oh, those are beans. Pulpy roots. All right. Yeah, isn't it great that all the alien languages uh, have a one-for-one -one mapping to the one that we're familiar with? <laughs> Big fan. You give that water a 3 out of 10? Okay. Do you, uh, do you sense any other predators? You think we're good? I've learned the word for seek. I'm the word collector. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh my God. This is beautiful and horrifying at the same time. Wow. Imagine falling into that. Nobody told James about this game. God, this game is pretty. Hey, little mouse mouse. Lil Miss Mousy with that brand new prime. How you doing, friend? I really appreciate that. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Kevin says if I was there, I'd be the greatest predator on the planet. I mean, no doubt. No doubt. Are there any medium predators that I need to be afraid of then? All right, just do a quick little scan about here. Wait, another humming sack? That's more money. Sorry. I almost left value on this planet, chat. Hey, Vintage Spiffy, what's up, friend? Thank you for that prime in five months. Pearls, 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 per wait. No, they closed! I'm not pleased. I've been played. Played like a fool. Oh, you're gonna explode. Well, I didn't know they would seal themselves up after. I thought they'd stay open looking, right? Okay, give me a quick second, friends. I'm going for just over two hours and I really have to pee. Take a short bathroom break. I want to come back. Ugh. We're going to go do some space archaeology. Be right back.
hi, I'm back. What do you mean the surge comes back to everything being on fire? Time out. Why are you saying everything is fine? Oh no, this is the worst. What's happened? Now I'm worried, chat. You can't just say that. All right. Space archaeology, another beacon. Let's go. It's fine now, we promise. Not better. <laughs> Not better. It was some light aerial strafing. That's kind of funny. Um, ancient rune one hour away. Oh god, game, please. Game? Game. Alright. Forget you, you're obviously too broken. Nobody fired on your ship while you're just sitting there. It's a good thing I turned PvP off, eh? <laughs> What's up, snake? Is this a new planet? No, we've been on this planet before. Okay. We're on the planet to Terran. All right, maybe we get to engage in some more archaeology here. This could be fun. Yes, we did. Okay, this time I'm not going to forget the orb. Alright, so we've done this once before. There's an orb that I want to click on up there. But what we want to do is we want to look underground. I want to find artifact fragments. There's the large one. So underground, there's a bunch of little fragments. And check this out. I can actually... Wait. I can make my laser bigger. There we go. Oh, jeez. Am I already there? Hey, Snake, thank you so much for 39! Well, I guess I've been here a while. Yeah, a couple of days. Aha! Okay, here's the first one. Now, the second is... That's damaged... Wait, damaged machinery. We're going to want to check that out after. Buried cash. Knowledge stone. Nope. Sure. Let's just go to this one next. Wait. Oh, there's one closer. Are you supposed to stand within your own blast radius? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, wow. I just, like, went right by one. This is so cool.
Where are you? There it is. Okay, so now that we have three keys, I want to find the large cache. Which is... There it is. Why is there snow underground? You know what? Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Everything is totally fine. And I wouldn't have even realized that if you hadn't pointed it out. Now I can't not think about it. All right. That was on a snow world, okay? Don't even worry about it. We're in space. Things operate a little different here. I can't. There's an invisible wall and I can't get in. There we go. Hacker voice, I'm in. All right. One, two, three keys. And we get... We get a haunted field note. What does that mean? It's, oh, what? It's only worth $200,000. That honks. Written in an otherworldly script, this manuscript is covered with strange margin and lilia. So this is blue tier, and I want to get it up to gold tier. Is this the sort of one that I should turn in and uh, see if I can upgrade? Field notes haunted, yeah. What's up, Baroness? Trade that one with the archive? Yeah, cool, okay. I just have to find an archive. All right, now there was a, there it is, damaged machinery. I already scanned you, I have. Oh, hello. Loot. One sec. Oh, damaged machinery is not what I thought it was. I thought this was the whole factory. This isn't nearly as exciting as I, as I hoped. What have we got? Got some nanites? Yeah, okay, never mind that. That wasn't at all what I thought it was. Some training relic though. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe this is what I wanted. Maybe this was the real treasure all along. Get our laser a little bigger here. Oh. No, this is just more cubes. Well, look, I'm not just going to leave value on the floor here, right? I appear to be stuck. I appear to be... Oh, God, that's poison. But on the Quicksilver weekend mission, I'm probably not going to do weekend stuff. I'm still very new to the game. I'm just hanging out, exploring, having a good time. Not too worried about many other things at the moment. All right, where's my ship? This way. Nothing to see here, Sentinel. You just go on your own way. Thank you very much. fuel. That's good stuff. Oh, right. Okay. This time, I'm actually going to click on whatever the weird orb here is, because I forgot to do that last time. Ow. Do 
Did we set up a beacon? There's no quest to set up a beacon here. It wants me to put it on a different planet. I mean, I guess I can try. Maybe I get quest progress if I do. Ah, let's try it anyways. All right. Wait, how do I... Hold on. How do I use the beacon that's in my inventory so I don't have to craft another one? Free up a slot? Good call. Where's something I can throw out? Silica. So I have a beacon in my inventory. Oh, right. I want the signal booster. Thank you. Oh, I have it in my inventory. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, yeah, I can't do it here. I need to go to a, uh, I need to go to a special quest area if I want anything cool to happen. Quicksilver is also pretty useless right now. I can dump that if I want to. Okay. Which one's Quicksilver? Which one's Quicksilver? I don't actually see Quicksilver. Oh, they're talking about the mission on the weekend? Okay. Now you can move the life support to the other tab. I you keep telling me this, but I can't. Like, literally clicking on these. Oh wait, move! Oh, what? Oh my god. There's a move button? That's embarrassing. Alright, I don't want to... Don't talk to me or... <laughs> ever again. That's so embarrassing. Alright, what is this orb? Oh, they're mad! They're mad! Chat! What the heck? Hey, what's up, Diamond? Thank you so much for 13 months. All right, it's okay. I've un I've outrun the Sentinels. The orb is also contraband? Oh, man. Have I turned into a drug dealer? This is bad. All right. Let's land here. All right. So hold on. I have a Gravitino. Oh, it's worth $40,000. A seismic particle cluster created by divergent super gravitational forces. Can be sold at Galactic Trade Tenable, Terminal, and Sentinel forces will respond to stabilize any such anomaly. All right, Pearl is fine. The cube is fine. All right, we got some good money to sell. In these items here. All right, got some nanites. Got some first aid. It's all good. More nanites. Have I scanned you before? I have. Good. Is there anything to do in here? Hey, what's up, Suffix? How you doing, friend? All right, let's see if there's some cool stuff here. Hello. And take your money. Don't need to heal because I'm max health already. 
What is this? Transmission tower. Long ago, it seems, an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. One, two, six, 120. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. One times two times three times four times five times six. It'll be 720. One times two is two. Two times three is six. Six times four is 24. 24 times five is 120. And then 120 times six should be 720. <laughs> I did it. I did it. All right, so that's going to get us another ship. Is there anything else I can get in here? No, there's literally the one room. That's what they call me. Yeah, math genius Jaeger. Okay, well, I'm getting hopelessly distracted. This isn't getting us toward... Oh, man. Like... I'm having fun. But what have we actually gotten done today? We've made some money. I guess we're getting some quest progress done. But, like, come on. Alright, hold on. Hold on. We're gonna go... To this emergency beacon, obviously. Where is it? Sorry, where... Oh, it's there. There we go. on the other side of the world? Isn't fun progress in and of itself? I mean, you're not wrong, the Maricat. You're not wrong. What am I doing for progress now? Ten minutes? It's so far. I did sell a ship. That's fair. Am I following the Atlas? Am I going my own way? I am trying to do quests. But, like, the main goal I wanted today was a new, a new multi-tool so that we could start, like, getting new resources and new ship upgrades. Oh, jeez. Come on, please. But in the interest of getting those done, I've gotten hopelessly distracted of trying to get money and stuff. Whatever. We got a minute. Let's let's just go this, this way. Any pets yet? Nah. Not too interested in that. I imagine I'd want... See, if I want... Pets are a big responsibility, right? If I wanted pets, I'd also need to have a place to put them, and I don't want to make a gear. Or pardon me, I don't want to make a base yet. Have I made upgrades to my gear? Not even really. I've gotten like four inventory slots. But we'll... Uh, once we get the new multi-tool, then we'll start doing... Like, we'll hunker down and actually do some big, uh, some big upgrades. But yeah, like, I bought a bunch of upgrades. I just haven't done anything with them yet. Soon. Soon, chat. Soon. I did sell a ship, though. That was kind of cool. I'm too young to think about settling down and building a base. That's fair. I would agree with that. Alright. And land. 
initiating plan sequence. Hello. As I enter the vessel, I'm greeted by a pile of military multi-tools. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The broken body of a tendrilled behemoth lies awkwardly or nearby. The, cra the craft must have crashed with such ferocity that little else is intact. Deacon's... Wait, no. Try out a multi-tool. The loaded power cylinder explodes, burning my flesh. The multi-tool remains operational. Yo, did I literally get a free multi-tool? Come on. Do I dare pray for S-Class? I need all your luck and positivity, chat. Come on. Give me that energy. Give me that energy. Come on. Come on. Uh, it's a B-Class. It's a B-Class. And it has way more slots. And importantly, it's free. It's free. Bees get degrees, chat. So here's our current one. So what do I do with all these broken modules? So I can add it to my collection. How do I change after? So if I repair them, do I get what's there and it's hidden? Or if I repair it, because like, I don't know what this is, right? Blown transistor. They become an open slot? Okay, that's more what I meant. So these are, these are blocked, right? As opposed to this is a hidden upgrade that I'll get afterwards. That's an, That's good to know. If you repair it, you get that slot and you can put something else in it. Cool. I don't think there's any reason not for me just to straight, like, exchange right now, right? Look at this! We have a new tool, chat! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Alright, let's take a look at this ship, too. What is this? So this is a B-class Garout. I think this is worse than the other ship. So we're actually, we're going to grab this and we're going to claim it. It's worth a million dollar dues. Anti-matter housing. Oh, I'm so happy we got that free, that free upgrade. That's so good. That's all we need for now. You gonna save the old one from the scanning system? Yeah, like I'm not gonna min-max by switching back and forth between things. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get in our ship. Uh, upgrade modules, hold on. Wait, what did I just get? I got a movement module? Hold on, time out. I got a powerful movement system upgrade. No, thank you very much for the person who used my affiliate code there. An extremely powerful upgrade for the exosuit movement systems. Total value 300 units. I still don't understand how this works though. Can you help me out? So this is an A-class movement upgrade. Oh, thank you, Suffix. Press E to install. No, no, no. I know how to install it, but what does this do? That's the question. Do I put this into an empty slot? Oh, I don't know what it is until I install it. Okay. And do I install it on top of something like the jetpack, or do I put it into an empty slot? It's a loot box. Okay, so it'll give me a drop in 
jetpack or speed boost duration. So I wanted an empty slot. Okay, so let me move let me move life support back over to here. Oh, there's adjacency bonuses too? Amazing. Okay, so let's install this. Um, in which case, let's move this here. Oh, wait, is there an adjacency bonus? So now that I have hazard protection here... All right, so I just got Tritium Exhaust, an extremely powerful upgrade for the movement system. A powerful upgrade module with the potential to drastically improve jetpack tank, recharge, sprint recovery time, and sprint distance. So I just got 150% bonus to my jetpack tank, 23% recovery time for sprint, 24% increased sprint distance, and recharge rate. Cool! And so they're both yellow, which is implying that there's some kind of there's some kind of adjacency bonus here. How do I get more slots for my technology exosuit? Next time you get a suit upgrade, you might want to spend it on the tech. Oh, oh! So when you get an upgrade, you can choose which tab you put it in. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh my god, so I have all of these to max out? Holy crap. That's so much. Okay, well I'm currently freezing to death, which is fine. Thank you so much, chat. So could a drop pod also be giving me technology slots instead of just general or no? Yeah, we're learning a ton. Wow, okay, thank you. What's this? Salt. Wow, damaged machinery. What is that? Sentinel. All oh, right, don't care about the Sentinel. Damaged machinery giving me a random tech upgrade there. That's so cool. All right, well, I said... As soon as we got an upgrade, we're going to go back to our base. But let's finish this quest first. So let's finish this quest. Uh, I've got a little bit of room in my inventory. And then we'll go back to our base. And we'll uh, spend some time unlocking all of our new slots. That's so cool. That's so cool. Thank you, chat. Oh, I could go to the space station first just to make... Yeah, never mind. Hold on. We're going to make some more room in our inventory here. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Buried caches can also have upgrades. Cool. Thank you so much, everybody. This is fascinating. God, there's a lot to learn in this game. Yeah, Erica, it's taking every bit of self-control I have not to just grab all of the salt for chat every time. It's tough, but, you know, I'm doing my best. Alright, so I have... A Viking effigy and a core... Wait, I have a Viking effigy. So let's get some more friendship here. Hey, you there. No! Do not! Okay. Oh. They will not talk to me. Well, never mind. There's plenty of salts already. Don't worry about chat. All right. Well, it's very, very thoughtful of you, Margie Argy. Your Gek servant told me you were coming, interloper. It is an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds my own. We shall kill together. What? A great central hunt begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite. What? The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beans are too alien. 
is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. When they smile at me and tell me it's an honor, I believe them. The scout promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. What? Okay. I just want to visit somebody who will give me... Hey, there we go. Viking High Command. Warrior. Help. Pathetic. Interloper. Coward. <laughs> uh, here's a gift, even though you just made fun of me. Wow. What a dong. All right. Uh, teach me more of your words. Uh, tell me more of your aggression, I guess. I've learned the word for weak-minded. Oh my god. I don't know how to tell you this, chat, but the Viking... The Viking, uh, they might be dicks. Like, they're not very nice at all. Alright. Um, we could sell these haunted field notes or we could try and trade them up later. Let's hold on to this. We might be able to find an artifact exchange. I'm going to sell these pearls. Actually, hold on. Tell me if I should sell the pearls. I'll, I'll wait for you on that one. Uh, the Gravitino Ball. Yeah, I'll sell our drugs. I don't care if it's minus 5%. Whatever. I'm not going to go around and min-max stuff. So, pearls keep or sell? Sell the pearls? Thank you. Um, Corvax casing, keep or sell? Keep? Alright. And I can sell these pearls as well. Look at that. Four million dollar he dues, chat. Four million dollar dues. Oh, give that one to a Corvax? You mean, like, this homie? Okay. Awesome, thank you. That's the gift item. Will you teach me a word? Ooh, friendship. I now know the word for Iwe. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um, okay, this is stuff I'm going to refine. That's what I want to trade up. I think I want to keep everything else that's on me right now. Hey, good morning, Goombalax. All right. Back on the planet, we are going to finish this quest and then we're going to we're going to do some some business. God, we have so many things to do. Hey, I'm rank 2 with the Corvax now. I'm test subject surge. That's not alarming. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. So, for people who were watching the stream yesterday, I got that actually kind of amazing other ship. Am I in the position now that I could, like, realistically up, uh, repair that ship and make a switch? Or is it, like, really expensive? Oh, cool. Is it really expensive to upgrade ships? Friday. Sorry, Friday. Yes, Inventare. Hey, what's up, Marty? Thank you so much for 37 months. Having a fantastic day, friend. Is this infinity or beyond? Unlurking just to summon Snurge? That's fair. Oh, what's this? Check stock transfer? Oh! Cool. They just gave me a bunch of money. I accept. It is resource intensive. Is 
the right room always empty? What's going on here? Oh, it's... Oh, God. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Repairing is what I meant. I have my totally busted ship. So repairing the ships typically isn't that expensive depending on how much collection work you're willing to do. Okay. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? Hello? Sentinel Hunter Gaw. The warrior is silent for a second before looking at me conspiratorially. They check over their soldier for prying eyes before powering down security systems. The life form pulls open a hidden vault at their feet, which seems to be piled high with upgrade modules? Interloper. And great talk, good talk. I pause, considering the offer. <laughs> All I hear is the soft, muted howl of the frozen wind outside. Is this a trap or a test? The warrior indicates a willingness to trade. Ugh. I'm sure these were all... Yeah. You know what? It's just the two of us alone on this ice planet. Hey, here. 100 bucks? Seems good. No! Aw, oh, man. What? Alright. Well, I've obviously disappointed them. <laughs> Images of shattered sentinels are displayed like trophies on this terminal screen. Seems like the observatory's former overseer had a penchant for hunting these machines. Perhaps their time would have been better spent monitoring incoming beacons like the one that flashes on a monitor before me. If I can enter the correct access code, I can discover where it originated from. Four, six, three, four. Six, three, four, four. Three, four, four, six. Well, this looks like that puzzle where the number is just moving over, so four, four, six, three. It hums into life, and the location of a new world is displayed on the screen. New world. Signal detected. All right. We'll check that out after. Ancient ruins. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's good. That's good for us. I, I saw a dragon flare. Thank you very much. You don't have to. You don't have to post it again. Navigation data, navigation data, nanites. Oh my god. That is some good stuff. Okay, so you said get in the ship, get out of the ship, and then put down my beacon. Now, what do I need to do here? Suitable site located. Wait, hold on. Do I need to build my beacon inside of here? Reload your autosave? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. So when you land on this planet, you have to do a quick reload? Interesting. And is it just going to put the, uh, the quest marker somewhere else now?
There you go. Triangulate position. Thank you very much. So we have a quest where we have to go to three different planet locations and fire off a signal. And apparently that one is bugged. So you have to, uh, you have to do that. All right. I'm actually not going to pick this up and try and find another building just to try and stay a little bit more focused. And you're saying if I head back inside, there's something on the table. Okay, give me one second. Oh, encrypted navigation data. Oh, wow. So, from this little visit here, we got six navigation datas now? Oh my god. Wow. So, I need to keep my eyes open for this. These are lootable in bases. Okay. All right, so we want to head to the ancient ruin that's off planet. Oh man, I have so many things to do. Okay, ancient ruin off planet, the last quest marker. We're going to do those two things and, and then I promise I won't get distracted again. Actually, I take that back. I can't make that promise. I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. <laughs> My hope is though that these are at least on the same planet. Hey, what's up, Triple? Are they the same planet? Ancient Ruin, one hour? Yes, they are. All right, let's go to the Ancient Ruin first. No, 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 business before pleasure. All right, 25 seconds. Getting distracted is half the fun. I mean... I guess. I just want to make sure that, you know, when we're streaming, we're telling the show, you're not like, ah, oh, man, Serge is getting distracted again. I want to make sure I'm getting stuff done. Because, you know, we're telling a story. We're having a back and forth here. Oh, God. Wait, am I, am I there? Yes, I am. bases side by side here chat is there a landing thing there is excellent gotta love those free takeoff and landings if I carry too many valuables I get attacked by pirates in space how will they know how will how do they even know how much I have on me unless one of you in chat is selling my info hmm All right, so give me a second here. I want to reload this autosave again. Stream sniping? Dang, stream snipers. They offered a very good deal. Uh-huh, okay. My ship isn't even worth any money, chat. You, you can get a way better price. Uh, yar, I would never rat you out to pirates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already have one confirmed stream sniper in Vitare. I don't trust you, chat. Well, hold on. Let's finish the quest here. Alright, triangulate position. Pick up signal booster. Triangulation complete. Return to space to contact Artemis. Okay, later. Later. I got some loot to do first. Hello? Hi. A red, jagged, and recent bite mark is wrapped around the entirety of the warrior's neck. Claw marks scar their chest and their exosuit lights flash red. The wound appears to be infected. 
host to strange green spores. Victory in battle, interloper. Bye. But the Viking ancients, okay. The life form barks contently, satisfied by their narrow victory. It's clear, however, that their injuries are severe and they have trouble breathing. Do I help them? Or do I just congratulate them? Oh my god. I think I just give them a high five. Do they need help or do we just give them a high five? You know what? Way of the warrior. Please? They nod, ignore the pain, too proud for help. Inhaling deeply, they revel in the suffering and the glory of victory. Wow. That's messed up. And I got a free standing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to take your money. And I can't loot. Wait, I can loot this table. Got a free navigation data. Okay. Can I loot your tree? Amazing. Judging by the imposing size and weapons shown on the ID that glares at me as I boot up the system, the station's overseer must have originated from a warrior race. The life form probably left long before the arrival of the beacon that now winks tantalizingly next to it. If I can enter the correct code, perhaps I can learn its secrets. All right. Five, nine, two, oh. Nine, two, oh. This is the same one again. Okay. I have entered the correct numbers. Location of a new world. All right. Wait. Sure. Wait, hold on. Another code? Wait, what? I can do this more than once? This is literally the same code again. Thanks to its recent repairs, it still functions. It keeps, it leaps into life as I enter the digits, showing the location of a new destination deep in the cosmos. Nothing is, nothing is being shown to me. Oh my God, they're, they're everywhere. Okay, never mind. Okay. We're going here. Ooh, I'm in a close ally now. Put another manual save here. So this is the one I want next, right? Three hours. Yeah, their passwords are not very secure. Uh, I'm not going to talk to Artemis right now. Artemis, you can just chill. You just chill. I have some looting to do first. How are we doing? Minutes? Leave the ancient being on read. No, no, no. We haven't even read it. Look, Buddy's been stranded in space for some amount of time, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He Does he even know? I'm stressing about this a lot, chat. I'm stressing about this more than I am. Ooh, Surge of the Determined. See? The game gets me. Your call is important to us. Yeah. Exactly. Alright, let's 
try now? How are we doing? Are you literally on the opposite side of the planet? People are landing here. Cool. Wait, is the ancient ruin underwater? Uh oh. Oh, wow. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, time to get over my fear of the sea, looks like. <laughs> able to get underwater upgrades. Yeah, I saw some of those at a store previously. But then I thought to myself, what if I just simply never went underwater? We've learned the word for system. God, getting an early Atlas Pass was so worth. What do we get? Antimatter housing. I like that Snurge has a channel, doesn't even stream, but still sasses his mods. Very Snurge. It's fantastic. All right. All right. Oh my God, look at it. Oh, that's so pretty looking. What is this? Hello? I hear a voice, soft but insistent, growing ever louder as I linger before the ancient altar. It flows closer, the water rushing about me, demanding that I listen to its tale. I accept the waves. I went down to the beach today. There's something about the sea at this time of year. It draws you in distorts your sense of time. Salty frost on stubby grass, the sand blowing off the tops of the dunes. No one else for miles. People love the sound of waves, but it takes gray skies and high winds to really feel it, to understand their never-ending crash, the drum they beat upon the land. It makes me shiver. Did I just find, like, underwater beat poetry? I pull back and the roar of the ocean subsides. As the light of the ruin fades, I find an ancient key, perfect despite its age. So, do I have to pick a chest? Like, what do we do here? I guess I have to do some underwater digging as well. well let's go refill our oxygen after we steal this pearl. Oh god, my increased sprint right now feels so good. I haven't really had a chance to move around a lot since we got those upgrades. Wait, what the heck is this? Hello? What are you? Oh! <laughs> ah, it's Invitare again. Alright, uh... What am I looking for? My laugh is contagious, so thank you. Alright. 
Oh no! I forgot, I don't actually have the... Um, I don't have the ground... Whatever it's called. Uh, I don't have the terrain manipulator. I need two carbon nanotubes to make that. Okay. All right, terrain manipulator is there. You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's get this advanced mining laser done. Hermetic seal. Oh, the wiring looms are right, of course. The mining looms are back home. Boo! Oh, pearl offering. That's so funny. Good thing I grabbed that pearl, eh? Uh, I got a soggy ring. Soggy ring is an aquatic treasure worth $160,000. Why is this all flashy flashy? So this is another one I'm going to want to trade up at some point, right? Sealed chest. Sealed chest. Um... All right, so for people who know these ones, I'm imagining that I need another key, but I only get one key here. Is that correct? Maybe if I listen to the story more, I can have more keys. No, I can't interact with this again. Yeah, because if we look, sealed chest, sealed chest. I think it's a you choose one of the two deal. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. That's my, that was my impression. Okay, so next play here is, I think it's base upgrade time. I think we're going to go to space. We're going to talk to um, our friend. We're going to go and spend a bunch of time upgrading our multi-tool, maybe trying to fix up a ship or switch a ship. You only get the one trident key? Okay, thought so. All right, let's go have a conversation, friends. Let's go have a conversation. Oh, the slot is blinking because the tutorial wants to teach me how to craft ammo? Oh, okay. Gold, silver one. All right, let's just stop in space here for a second. Sure, teach me how to build ammo game. Or not. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, and let's find each other. All right. Okay, I want to go to the space station here. Space station is... This way. Oh, 
I love that we found the free multi-tool after I had given up. I was like, I'm never going to get one. We'll just make this work. So wiring loom, wiring loom. Okay, so I need to buy three additional wiring looms in the market here. And some ionized cobalt, which I think we had. Nah, you know, I'm rich enough that maybe we'll buy it. I need like 75, 25 per slot. Heck yeah. You can craft and mine ionized cobalt if you want to. Ah! Nah, I've gotten I've gotten distracted enough today. Oh my god, these are expensive. So I need three of these. That's fine. Can I buy ionized cobalt for me though? You can buy base cobalt. Or for twice the Hey, look at that, it's on sale. So I need 75. Yeah, this is this is fine. If it was like a million, maybe I'd worry about it. Alright, so now if I go to my multi-tool, I should just be able to. There we go. There we go. All right, we're gonna get ourselves our new mining beam. That's also fantastic. And then let's take a look at our new starship. All right, let's spend a bit of time. Yeah, let's spend a bit of time working on some stuff right now. Actually, before we do our new ship, let's flip our old ship. Or rather than flip our old ship. Sorry, we had that third ship that we got. Let's uh, let's flip that one because we might be able to get some cool upgrades and stuff too. Yes, I have two extra mining beam, um, two extra looms set aside for that mining beam already, Brooke. All right, where did we park this time? Are we on top? Oh, look at that! We're learning. See? Okay, multi-tool. So what we want to do now is we want to get the advanced mining tool. So we need one hermetic seal and one metal biddy. Crap, sorry, the UI sometimes. Multi-tool. Modify. Craft. Oh, crap. I needed a carbon nanotube. Wrong one. There we go. All right, so we now have a synergy when they're side by side. I don't actually know what that did. Enabled was 15%. Okay, I wonder if I want this here as well. No, that doesn't do anything. Okay. All right. Um, should we make the grenade launcher as well? So what else do we have? We have a pulse spitter. Specialist rapid fire weapon attachment for the multi-tool. Uh, let's just go with the bolt caster. But what we can get is this grenade launcher. So we need, a, a, oh, I need another wire loom for that, but a hermetic seal and an, an amino of whatever. All spitter is good. Is it not just the same gun, but rapid fire? Let's get some stuff around here. What 
do I even need these batteries for? I don't even know. Two warp cells. Oh, I have another. Oh my god. I didn't realize I had enough to make two warp cells. Look at this. We got three warp cells, chat. Amazing. Pulse Spitter is a separate weapon? Is it an upgrade or a separate weapon? Based on the description... Sorry, God, this is hard to get to sometimes, so I hit E. Specialist Rapid Fire Weapon Attachment. Seems like it's a different one. Yeah, you press G to switch to that mode. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. So let's get the Grenade Launcher. And for that, I need an Amino Chamber. And a wiring loom. So we're going to hop back into space real quickly here. Can I craft an amino chamber though? Doesn't look like it. So I want another one of those wiring looms though. What's up, Mark? I realize I'm doing multiple trips here because I probably could have had my ship ready, but whatever. One thing at a time. So, wait, can I even get the other one though? Maybe there's no point in buying it because I can't actually... Yeah, they don't sell it here. Seeing as how they don't sell it here. Maybe there's no particular rush. All right, let's uh, clean up our inventory though, and then and uh, flip that other ship. And we'll start the long and hard conversation about, can we reasonably move into our forever ship? And what what is the cost associated in making that happen? What's up, Damien? All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of uh, Ship Flippers. I'm your host, Serge. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get rich. <laughs> Summon vehicle. All right. So this is this is the ship that we're going to be flipping today. All right. First order of business. How are we looking here? Anything that I can get? Oh, it had technology. No, it didn't. It's all it's all busted. Alright, so I need a metal plating and I need some pure ferrite. Right, this is this is nothing new. Alright, one metal plating, please. Pizza, my love. Okay. Nope, wrong button. Uh, starship, we want to flip this. There we go. Fix, fix. And we need to fix these thrusters. Alright, and then if we check me, I've got... I've got an okay amount of slots. We'll have more in just a second here, though. Oh, 
What am I sitting at here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. Soon to be 12. Wish you could fix your car this easily? Yeah, no kidding, eh? Well, 13. There we go. Uh, let's put these away, too, for now. Hey, Tree Witch, thank you so much for that brand new sub. I really appreciate that. So this is my selected ship now? I think yes. So if we go to space now... All right, we're gonna flip this and I'm gonna eat some pizza. If I remember correctly, the uh, ship scrapper is on this side. Yeah, let's get rich. Look at this. An hour ago, I was so scared. Oh, wow, this is worth way more. But now I'm basically a scrap pro. Scrap it. All right, what do we get? B-Class Engine Module, B-Class Hyperdrive Module, B-Class Shield Module, and we got some coolants. Okay, I don't think we high-rolled quite as hard as the previous one. So what do we get here? We got thermal panels worth 100,000. Activated radium worth is 80,000. Oh, cool. Tank of coolant for 200,000. So yeah, there's our 380. And do we keep these or do we want to hold out for A modules? I guess I don't really have a ship to upgrade yet, do I? I mean, I can get just the... Uh, free nanites. That'd be kind of cool. First things first. Let's go sell those parts. Wait, maybe the gun changed. Let's check. No. Literally the first ship I found was an A-class. Looks like Serenity, you've been playing it for, you've been flying that for 40 hours? That's sick, Omnirastrix. I like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all this stuff. I don't know what Indium is yet. I feel like if I don't know what it is and I don't need it, I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, heck, the, um component seller was on that side. Is there that much value in fixing? Or is it just enough to take off and run to the station immediately? That's a good question. Like, what's the, um, what's the potential upside on spending more time fixing stuff? You know what I mean? Can you get more out of it? Or do you just, is it just worth it to fix the bare minimum and then flip it? Intra knife module. Supremely powerful upgrade. What's an accelerator? No. Oh, potential, of course. You're buying loot boxes. Of course. Your time is value. I think it's probably better to fix the bare minimum and flip it unless you want to keep it. Mm, okay. 
Scrapping is almost certainly more profitable. One of the few ways to get Starship expansion slots. Right. Which we got one of, by the way. In our first ever, we got a uh, Starship expansion slot. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to show you my ship, and then I'm going to have lunch while we talk about it. So this was the first, oh geez, this was the first ruined ship that we found. And I think this is a fixer-upper. So it is a A-class and it's got, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six tech slots and it's got, how do I, how do I count here? One, two, three, four, five, six. 10, 15, 28 slots. So this is a 28 and 6 A-class ship. And I think... I think I want this to be my forever ship. Well, maybe not my forever ship. My for a while ship. You think it's ugly? I think this is, I don't know. I showed you my ship, please respond. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need, chat? All right, all right, please. Please keep your feedback positive. <laughs> like, is 28, is 28 6 A class not bad? Did I go from humankind to no man's sky because I got tired of humanity? <sighs> yeah, proving that spaceships don't need wings, right? <laughs> So, like, seeing as how this would be my first jump in ship from literally the starter ship, is it worth? A lot of people are saying it's worth. Not bad. It's fine. Yeah. Just scrap it and buy it, but buying it can be random, right? It's like, I'd have to spend a ton of time looking for things. Most of the ships that are A-class with this many inventory slots are, we we scanned like 15 to 20 million, which we're not quite there for. I guess, yeah, finding out how much it's going to cost us to repair is probably a good call. So pulse engine, chromatic seal, that's easy. Chromatic metal and microprocessor, I think that's easy. Chromatic metal, that's easy. Pure ferrite, that's easy. Wiring loom, magnetic resonator. Oh my god, three antimatter? Can I craft antimatter? Oh yeah! Okay, so far I just need copper. I don't... I think this is doable. So, hold on. That gets us to this point. I've never heard of these. Okay. 
platinum, activated copper. It's like I don't even need all these slots yet, right? Only good thing about this ship is that it has the launch system recharger module pre-installed. Yeah, I was pretty excited about that. Remember, you can have three ships. Yes, this would be number one. I'll keep my other ship forever. Okay, and how expensive is it to get rid of this? Chromatic metal. So, we'll just have to do a bit of grinding. We'll just have to do a bit of grinding. How much is it for antimatter? Sorry, I could find this too. Antimatter costs copper. I mean, I think this is fine, chat. You end up using your ship as an ender chest. That's kind of funny, too. So I can... <coughs> oh, help, I'm dying. <coughs> I decided to inhale banana pepper there. I can easily fix the top row. Easily fix the top row. You found an ancient alien artifact? Yeah, I made... I mean, I have $4 million, James Sonor. I made two mil by selling a fossil. Easy. Um, easy. Easy. I can get three tech slots. Activated copper? I thought activated copper was just smelting copper. Wait, no. That's chromium. Have I played Subnautica? I haven't, because the, the ocean terrifies me. So reading through chat, here's the plan. After I finish my pizza, wash my hands, take a short bio break, I'm going to fix up as much of the shift I can right now. I might have to do a little bit of like copper grinding, but that shouldn't take me too long. Then we're going to teleport to the system, the furthest system we've reached in the plot, and then jump to one past that. We'll go to our third ever new system. And we'll take a look at what resources are available there. And we're going to keep this ship and slowly start upgrading it. I think I might have one or two upgrades on me as well. I do have a ship upgrade slot, but I should keep that until we get like an S-class ship, right? Like I should hoard that for a while. Wait, there's activated copper in my system? Huh. Interesting.
Yeah, like, it doesn't need to be perfect now. We can work on this for a while, right? Hey, what's up, SDB? Thank you so much for 42 months. That's an incredible amount of time. I have found the answer. What's the question? The question was to keep the ship or not. I don't know how 42 adds up, but I like it. All right. Um, give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I lied. Give me like 50 seconds. We're back. <laughs> All right. Uh, step one. We want to throw that copper in the oven and start getting as much of that chromium as possible. Pardon me. No, oh, no, not the hiccups. Not now. Not like this. All right, I'm just going to throw in literally all of the copper because I need a tremendous amount of this chromium. We're going to have 110 chromium. Okay, so uh, craft one hermetic seal. So Pulse Engine is now repaired. Awesome. Next, we want to upgrade, we want to fix the hyperdrive. That's going to require three microprocessors, which I will have to purchase. Oh, that honks. Okay. All right. Uh, microprocessor is a little bit more expensive. Chromatic metals in the oven. Next, I need pure ferrite. Two. I don't know, let's do like 300 of this because I'm tired. Alright, let's chop chop some trees real quick here. Right, these are ghost trees. God, ah, stupid ghost trees. There's people running around here now. I'm confused. Vitare is out there hunting plants for me. I think this is faster. Does this feel any faster than my old multi tool? It's supposed to be 15% faster, so. I'll assume it's doing a good job.
find carbon even faster without buying it. Is that finding those big red crystals? Because I upgraded. I have the better mining laser now, right? So I should be able to do better stuff. More heat buildup, the faster it gets. Oh! Until eventually it overheats. That's kind of cool. Involves using your starship? I mean, hit me up with it. If it feels too weird, I, I might not do it, but it might be good to know. What's the sick carbon trick? Just fly low atmosphere to use the ship. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, maybe if I had better, like, free thruster takeoff stuff, that might make sense. I like the idea that just carpet bomb the planet is the way to go. Gek Relic, okay. Alright, how do we do there? Got ourselves about a a thousand carbon? Ah, that's good work. You never need to land, sure, but I still have to take off the first time, right? You don't realize how stingy I am right now. What do you think I am made of takeoff juice? Whatever it's called. Uh, why'd I say the words takeoff juice? Alright, just ignore what I just said. Alright, that is good to know though. Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do another flyby next time we happen to be in the sky. All right, we'll clear these trees and then uh, we'll head back in. Oh, let me, hold on, let me find copper. Perfect, well, that's convenient. Maybe there's a closer one. Dioxide, salt. Unknown grave, wow. Unknown building. Hold on. What? An unknown building. Sorry, I I have to investigate. I have neighbors. No, it's not the the copper for activated copper. I need copper so I can make more um whatever the um chromium block is. This isn't a building. What part of this is a building? I feel like I've been lied to. <clears throat> Another relic, okay. Rob the Unknown Grave? I'm pretty sure I've already been to it before. Like, I'm pretty sure I've looted all of this once. Yeah, like, I've absolutely 300% already looted all of this. And the building doesn't seem to be beyond it, right? No, no, no. What I want now is the copper. Let's just go get that copper. There's stuff in every direction, but I need to... 
need to focus. Laser focused Jaeger. That's what you call me. That's why you watch me. really stop doing that. Oh, jeez. Alright, please, Surge, please, I beg of you. Actually, if everything refilled, I wonder if this also respawned. get like a fall protection improvement or something here like feather falling or whatever so I stop taking so much damage or is that just wishful thinking you can upgrade your shield oh okay No! Oh my god, this is the copper deposit? Because what? I missed, like, literally that spot? Oh, that feels bad. Don't like that one bit. Oh, no. Alright, hold on. Is there other copper nearby? Salt. Okay, we're going this way now, chat. Hey, here we go. Alright, what do we get? Maybe we'll get more components we need to build with. Navigation data. For jelly, okay. Microprocessor, that's good stuff. I need those. What if we just simply looted all the parts that we need to repair our ship? Yeah, there we go. Was I the space pirates? Can I be a space pirate? Do I want to know that? Hmm. How profitable is it to be a space pirate? What, what, what does a space pirate do? attack random ships that go by yeah all right look at this we can we can harvest the big stuff now that we got that advanced mining laser yeah let's go good stuff all right i need all of this copper Good, good.
Does every game I play involve mining copper at some point? Look, that it's it's just a coincidence. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I'm currently freezing. That's just a coincidence. There's, don't read into it too much, all right? All right, so that copper node is now completely mined. What do I have on me? That got me 700 copper. That's not bad. So I know you can change the size of the mining thing, but I've also been told that if you make your mining reticle larger, you actually get less resource out of it. It seems to be that every time the game ticks, it gives you a certain amount from it. So if you want a clear space to excavate, use a larger laser. But if you actually want more of a resource, you want a smaller laser. Yeah, and for that one, we needed uh, quantity over efficiency. No, that is more efficient. You know what I mean? That's right, Snurge. That was an alley-oop of smarts. Thank you. The larger reticles aren't just slower. They're also wasteful. Well, it depends. The larger reticle just has a different job. I think it's an interesting balance thing that they've done. Because then otherwise, why wouldn't you just always use the largest one, right? Are you going to attack me? Hold on. I have a gun now. I did it! Ooh, what's this? Oh god. Oh, there's many of them. It's okay. It's okay. I'm too fast. You got to shoot the barrel open? All right, I'll go back for it in a second here. So where's that barrel at now? Right, I was over here. Oh, don't tell me it went right into the hole. God, I'm dying. Help. Do I need to use the gun to kill that? I think my gun sucks, chat. They despawn? No. I can't exactly look down. I have to deal with this thing. Maybe it didn't go down the hill? Maybe it rolled over here somewhere? Because I was definitely mining this, right? I was definitely mining this. And then I fought it, and I killed it, and it started rolling down a hill... ...this way, right? 
Because I started running this way. No! My loot! My loot! But I checked in the hole. So you're sure it fell in here, eh? Just shoot another one, forehead. Eighty-seven percent sure. Okay, so it must have despawned. Is what we're. Uh, mm. All right. Well, yeah. Kill another one and follow the barrel. Now, hold on. It's trying to tell me to make bullet here. Oh my God! Why do I have twelve hundred of these? That seems perhaps a bit much. All right, I shoot another one. All right, what I get? Oh God. There's more of them. Wait, did you say, do you see it? The one I just killed or did you see another one? You have to use the mining laser? Oh my god. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. God, what's that? Oh, that's Invitari again. God, I thought you were the space police. Don't do that. God, I thought that was backup. It scared the crap out of me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh no. Suppression level two? That's not what I wanted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here. Do need oxygen. None no of what's going on over there. Oh, God. All right, two seconds. I think we good. Why is it level three now? What is happening? Inventory, you're not helping. Stop it. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll turn multiplayer off right now. What are you doing? Oh, no. I'm trying to leave. I wasn't the one who was fighting them. Don't don't protect me. I'll ask her help if I need help. But thank you. All right. All right. That was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Um, just as a general rule of thumb for any multiplayer game I'm having, please don't volunteer help. If I dig myself into a hole, let me uh, let me solve that problem for myself, right? Appreciate it though. But yeah, that's that's not really the uh, the type of multiplayer experience I'm looking for in the game right now. All right, so what do we get out of all this? We got some salts. We got some more living slime. 
I want to put living slime into here. Keep that cooking. Uh, this was chromatic metal, so I want to put more copper into here. I don't think there's any reason for me to keep copper. Holy moly, that's another very large humble purchase. Thank you, friend. Thank you, mysterious friend. Yeah, 92 pugdium. There we go. And we're digging ourselves into holes today constantly, apparently. Okay, so let's take a look at our ship now. Uh, we're going to have to go buy another microprocessor, but we can repair our ships here. Uh, photon cannon we can repair. Efficient thrusters. We need 50 tritium. We need a, a writing loom for that. Okay. So as long as I can repair... Wait, do I have tritium? I do. I think I have tritium in my other ship. So... If I switch to this one... Switch out again here. Okay, so I need one microprocessor. I need a couple of loom wires or whatever. Yeah, one microprocessor. Okay. And one loom. One microprocessor, one wiring loom. Two wiring looms. And I might even be able to replace this too. Three antimatter? Yow. Two wiring looms, one magnetic resonator. I didn't buy the recipe for magnetic resonator, did I? Have a good one, Maricat. Thanks for hanging out, friend. You have a fantastic day. All right, we got all the chromium. Yeah, regarding help, the interesting thing about streaming isn't necessarily doing well, it's telling a story. Oh, cool. I go here, I can actually advance the storyline too. It turns out struggling is content. <laughs> No, that was the uh, the mic arm that had that loud squeak. Hey, what's up, the third tail? Oh my god, chat! We got a butter bean! Thank you so much for that prime and that year of support, friend. I really appreciate that. Dying to hubris is actually a great story, right? Okay, so I need to purchase... One wiring loom. Can't actually buy the microprocessor here. Um, I can probably go ahead and sell this marrow bulb. And what else? Bordite? Sell that Bordite. So maybe I have to go to a different station. Wait, hold on. Go up? Go up. On planet. Oh. Do you think I can buy a microprocessor on this station? Do I have to try another station if I want to buy it anywhere? There we go. Efficient thrusters. Amazing. Magnetic resonator is the other one. You know what? I can get the recipe for magnetic resonator on the anomaly, which I can summon. Hey, Damien! Thank you for that prime and resub. Welcome back. 
I find myself watching you so often. Here you go. I really appreciate that. Do I know that I can buy ships? Yep. We found a pretty good ship, though. So this is our fixer-upper. Platinum. So this should be... This should be flight-worthy right now. So if I take this ship out into space... Wait, do I have fuel for it? Oh, God. Yeah, I do. If I take this sh this ship out into space... Can I move these? No. Can I summon the anomaly to here? And then check out the store there? Like, is that a thing I can do? Also check with the landed ships. Oh! Hold on. So I can just trade with all these homies? Buy items. Oh my god! Look at that! A microprocessor! Oh my god. Get the fossil. Oh my god, I can get everything I need here. Dirty bronze. Get another wiring loom there. This is so cool. I had no idea. I need another one of these. Price is basically the same. Um, let's load up on a couple more of these, <clears throat> just in case. Buy five. I mean, I guess, much like me, they have just a bunch of random junk in their inventory, right? This appears to be... Oh, a quantum computer. That's different. Okay. Magnetic resonator. Oh my god. Let's go. Am I playing offline? Nope. We've got people in chat hanging out. Inventory has been flying around. Saying hello. Chilling. Um, that was this one. Yeah, our launch system recharger is now finished. Yo, let's go. All right, what do I need here? I need to buy 75 phosphorus. I think somebody had phosphorus. I need gold. I can get gold and platinum out in space. But, oh, that dude left. Oh, I have to go pretty fast. What's up, warrior? Magno gold. There we go, phosphorus. Uh, yes, I'll take it all. I only need 75, though. Sure would be nice if I could just put it a number. All right, let's go get ourselves some gold and some silver. Do I get platinum from space too, chat? I want gold. I want gold. God, actually, I need a couple more wiring gnomes. Platinum. Hey, what's up, a damn soul? How you doing? Gold, silver, platinum are all meteors? Okay. Platinum comes from crystal-looking asteroids. Let's get out there. So I was gonna do some story stuff, but now I'm just gonna repair my ship because we're on a we're on a we're on a roll here. I don't know. Let's get like ten of these. Oh my god! There goes all of my money. Yeah, I Miari. Mean, I was on team. This game was sweet when it first dropped. I I also think this is very cool. All right, hold on. Can I fix anything there? I need more antimatter. How many more of these can I make? Let's do tech slots first. Oh, I'm out of uh, chromatic metal now. That's fine. 
There we go. Give it a copper, not yet. God, this is so good. Alright, this is going to be our first time flying our new ship. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What new technology could we put? <laughs> Do we want a missile launcher? Oh no, I need copper for it and I sold all my copper. That's so funny. Uh, is there any technology we'd want to install? Okay, no, this is fine. We're going to, uh, we're going to go for a flight. Hold on, I need to do a very important thing though. There we go. Our ship is called Joe's Pride. You're enjoying the stream while you clean the house and it's super relaxing. Yo, so glad to hear that, friend. All right. Oh, wait a second. I don't have a little aiming. Oh, I do have a tiny little aiming radical. All right, what do we get from this one? Wait, why can't I shoot through this? Oh, this is silver. Okay. Oh, geez, we overheat so fast. So I need a good amount of silver, right? I need... How much silver total? Wait, do I literally not need silver? Is that the one thing I didn't need? Okay, I need gold and platinum. I didn't actually need silver. Tritium. Got a tritium hyper crystal. Okay. So this all these rocks are tritium. Oh, I found some gold. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I can't tell the difference between the gold ones and the tritium ones. Maybe the gold has little specks of yellow in it? It's random? Oh, okay, okay. But you did say some have platinum in them, though. There's literally no difference. If I wanted to hunt for one with platinum... Not every system has platinum asteroids. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Getting a bunch of gold is still really important here. Right, here's a big one. What are you? Oh, platinum! Ha <laughs> ha! What was that, chat? What was that about not having access to platinum everywhere? Oh, this this one wasn't the platinum one. This is just a big old gold one. Okay. I was kind of hoping that big one was the platinum one. Looks like I just kind of lucked out. All right, so what do we have here? 16, five gold nuggets, 100 gold. Okay. Prepared. 
Is that streamer luck? No. So how much more gold do I need here? I need... 20 more gold. I need to try and get some more platinum. Okay. So let's keep hanging out here. Sometimes it's just easier to buy it, too. Hmm. Well, it's good to know where things come from, though, right? You can break down them gold nuggies for more gold. Wait, hold on. Like, in my inventory, do I have to smelt it for that to happen? Man, those are worth a lot of money. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. We, we are set for gold. Holy crap. Okay, we're also set for tritium. Um, you think we should try and farm for like a little bit more, a little bit more platinum or should I just try and go to a store and buy it at this point? Oh, there we go. We just got more platinum. Easy game. But no, you're right. It's totally random here, eh? Go for this big one. Maybe this big one has all the platinum we need. Is it all just silver? Can we talk about the uh, the little like trucker fan in the top left there? It's so good. Maybe this big one over here will be uh, platinum. Twenty-three platinum. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hyper clusters. Okay. God, this game is just so chill. Like. Every single individual task this game asks you to do. It's just so chill. Piracy's good money. Nah, we're we are we're here to bring justice to the galaxy, not chaos. You can make money just by jumping back and forth. Ooh! Pirates! Hold on. What if I'm being pirated? Oh, they found my money, chat. Yo, you ready to dogfight? Wait, what do I what do I do here? Hold on. Time out. Alright, we fight now. Can I win or no? Oh, get wrecked! Yo! Hold on, somebody else is fighting me here, aren't they? Where are my hit points? How am I doing? Am I still alive here? Woo! 
let's go. So hold on, hold on, hold on. And then do I go pick these up? What do I do here? Oh, I blew it up. Oh, crap. Well, that was easy. I should be a pirate. Let's go. All right. I got one Lemium from that. Oh, you fly into them. You don't shoot them. That's awkward. I also got some uh, chromatic... Some chromatic metal from that, which is good, too. So wait, hold on. I should be able to... Yeah! Do another repair here. All I can say is, it's very profitable to kill pirates. Not that I should be a pirate. All right, what's our next stop here? Let's head back to the station, and then let's teleport back to our base. Why do you think the space police do it? Ah. Yeah, stealing is bad unless you steal from pirates. Exactly. Then it's just. <laughs> Am I wrong? There were barrels there? Yeah, I... They're gone. It's fine. It happens. Oh, yo, I love this pink ship. Dang. Is there a way to, like... Buy a ton of this? Yeah. I don't play I want pyrite as well. So, it turns out I might actually be able to just, like, repair this entire ship in one go now, which I was not expecting. I need two more wiring looms. Okay. Did you just leave me? I need two more wiring looms, please. Need more platinum? Yeah, I haven't found anybody who sells platinum yet. Hey, what up? So what's interesting is we're probably going to be down like a million. Oops, that's the wrong button. We're probably going to be down a million by the time our ship is done being fixed, but I'm still pretty stoked because we got an A-class ship for under a million, and that feels worth to me. That feels super worth to me. Solar mirror? No. Oh, I need Parafra. Parappa the Rappa here, whatever this one is. Um, How much of this did I need? Let's get 200, just in case. Received. 
still need platinum. Wow, I need a hundred more? hundred more paraffium. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me! A hundred more. And we can sell our excess gold after to make a bunch of money back. Man, capitalism though. Look at this, you can just buy everything. Baby, come back. All right, we need, um, looks like about a hundred more chromatic metal. Yo, this dude's making some good money off us. Oh my God, more coffee? Joe, I love you. It's a good day to be this dude. Ooh, this is on sale here too. Looks like I always need this. Let's just buy like a hundred thousand worth. We're gonna treat it like we're at the deli, and instead of saying how much I need, I'll just be like, I don't know, give me like X amount. What you drinking? We're drinking a delicious coffee from Fernwood Roastery. <clears throat> All right, now I just need to find people to buy um, platinum off of. You got platinum? What you got? What you got? It would appear that you have, in fact, nothing. How about you? And people just keep coming and going. This is awesome. Oh, I needed one of these, didn't I? Do I need more pugnium? I don't know. Oh, I need pyrite. Pyrite check. I just need three metal plating now. God, we're going all the way here, aren't we? Aren't we? Uh, I need phosphorus and three more metal plating, and then yo, we just might be we might be done here. We might have fully repaired this in one go. We just need to find the person with the platinum. You got platinum? Yes, you do. All right. Okay, we need a bunch of this. Uh, that's 200,000. That's fine. I'm, I have literal millions of dollars. All right. Platinum. Check. Platinum. Let's go. What do you mean, streamer luck? I had to talk to like 7,000 people. This is streamer perseverance. Alright. All we need now is activated copper, which we're probably not going to get. So, magnetized ferrite we have back at home. Phosphorus. Somebody might have phosphorus. And then that, yeah. 75 phosphorus? 75 phosphorus. That same guy also had phosphorus? No way. Thank Corpocracy. Thank you, Corpocracy. God, words failed me for a second there. Yo, you're totally right. I'm going to sell the Lemium, which is apparently worth a small fortune. 
Oh, all my gold is only worth like 36. That's fine. I'll throw it in my... I'll throw it in my box in case I need it later. Alright, our ship is basically good to go. Let's do this. Let's go. Alright, and then I can also make... Oops, I can also make our grenade launcher now, right? Need a hermetic seal and a wiring loom. Uh, all these people sell wiring looms. All right, I know some of you were excited for our grenade launcher. I know I was. Bam! Still have the lemium? Yeah, I couldn't find it easily. <clears throat> All right, you know what? I feel I feel like we're a little bit upgraded now. I feel like we're a little bit powerful now. So let's take a look at... Let's treat ourselves to something nice now. Because look at that. We got 1,400 nanites. We can get a little bit of fire protection. Wait, what's this? Drastically improves survival in sub-zero. Oh, like our home world. 500, though. <laughs> Should I treat myself to an S-tier protection module? Because I've been so good. Nothing but the best. Nothing but S-tier. Oh, wait, I don't actually have a slot for it, which is depressing. I could buy one. Oh! Thousand units? Is it going to cost me nanites? Oh, that was so cheap! Never mind. We're doing it. We're buying that S tier chat. Oh, I mean, maybe it was a little bit greedy, but it makes me really happy. Go with S tier movement first. I have an A tier movement. Look, I just wanted to treat myself to something nice, okay? What does it do? A supreme upgrade for the thermal protection. A total rework. This upgrade module brings unparalleled improvements to cold damage and cold protection. Yeah! It's like a bonus health bar in cold weather. Look, I gotta learn somewhere, right? What's this? It's a really powerful upgrade for the humble drive. I don't know what that does. Is this for me? What's this for? Oh, this is for our ship. <clears throat> oh, Exocraft. Right. The reason I don't know what that is is I don't I don't have any exocrafts. Okay. Starship stuff. Okay. We got our sweet new ship. Ship maneuverability and speed, warp drive efficiency and jump distance. This is gun upgrades. Well, not necessarily gun. Oh, scanner upgrade. <sighs> mm. 
increases the value of discovery data. That might be worth too. Because we're about to go to a new system, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, 9,000% boost for plants. Okay, yeah, that's sick. That's absurd. Because we lost our X one too, right? Thank you for the uh, thank you for the pick or the reminder on that one. That's sick. Okay, so here's the plan. We have a quest on a planet that's nearby. Let's fly to there. And, uh, heck yeah. And then let, maybe let's do a jump. A little bit of a jumpy in a second. I'm really surprised the quest isn't telling me to leave the system yet. Five, four, three, two, one. We've arrived. You should upload your discoveries. How do I do that again? It's under here, right? Is it log? Oh, it's catalog. Or whatever. How do I upload them? Let me land and then uh, walk me through it, please. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Discoveries. Right click to go back a level. Oh, wow. Is there upload all or no? Amazing. All right, 10 nine, nine clusters. I don't I don't think I got a lot from that. Oh, upload all right there. Oh, 431. Yeah, that's good stuff. Cool. Thank you. Now I can't steal it. Mm. Thank you, Matari. Alright. Can I just jetpack up this time? How much jetpack do I have? Yeah, forget you ladders. I can fly. Oh, I'm falling. Artemis, talk to me. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication. Activate. Hello, Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Hook me up. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. 
I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach and I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll also send you my translator so you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but it should only take a few words. Mm. Good luck. Or maybe, see you soon. Artemis' translator. Ah, I need more copper. All right, that's fine. Is there any copper nearby? Need a lot of it. Salt. Cargo. Salt. Dioxide. Copper. Much less Shatner that time. I look, look, I just read off the script, okay? I can only do so much with the dialogue, thank you. Oh, crap. Uh, um, um. Oh, you're after me. Crap. How are they always there? How do they just teleport into existing directly behind me? It doesn't make any sense. When you kill one, they spawn, but that doesn't make any sense. That's cheating. And how dare they? Don't mess with the space cops, I guess? Why do the space cops get to violate time and space? Riddle me that. Oh, here's the copper deposit. All right, I need all this copper. Oh. Hey, I'm a nuisance. It's exciting. So I need like literal actual hundreds of copper here. So Remember, you can expand your radius. Yes. And then in the previous conversation, if you expand your, your radius, you actually get... It's less efficient. You get more resources if you use the smaller... Smaller laser size. If you make your laser larger, it clears it faster, but you get less resource from it. Don't worry, chat. I'm doing it right. There's a few things I don't know. This one has been thoroughly... I've been trained... I love that you get dirt when you mine and you can also plug the dirt back into it to keep it going. I love that it's self-sustaining that way. Much like copper and the other laser one. Alright, what do we get copper-wise? Uh, we wound up with... 325, I feel as though I need one more, one more copper node. Convenient. Hey, what's up, Snack Pack? How you doing? Hello. Don't mind me. Definitely didn't kill your friend. Definitely didn't.
Uh, how are we doing for stuff here? Just looking at my inventory. A lot of things I could have... I probably could have done a better job of organizing my inventory before we... We walked off, but it's too late now. More hydrogen jelly. Good stuff. The sentinels are the beach of this world? I'm gonna need you to give me a little bit more context for that. I'm here to say yes. Give me more to work with. Why are the sentinels the beaches of this universe? No further... <laughs> Send tweet. No, I won't be taking any questions at this point. Awesome, thank you. Is this an easy game to get into? I hope so. I only started it for the first time on Friday and I'm having a good time. But then again, I do have Twitch chat to help. What's up, Reaper? How you doing? Man, you remember Hydration Bot? That takes me back. When it turns out Hydration Bot was just a random account that had just like added itself to a bunch of channels. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay. So we're now sitting on 500 copper. You know what? One more. It's right there. Be rude not to. That was a little baby one. But we're now sitting at just over 800 copper. That ought to do it. What is it telling me to do here? Oh, it's trying to get me to craft the, um, the Artemis Translator. Is that what it's trying to tell me to do? I don't understand. Alright, back to our ship. Which is... Oh, that's not too bad. But, is there anything else nearby? Before we leave... We, we're here. It'd be rude not to do a quick little scan, right? Do a little rotato. Alright. I'm shocked at how much fun I'm having playing No Man's Sky. Like, I knew I'd have a pretty good time, but I didn't think I'd have, like, it's been five hours and I can't believe time's going by this fast kind of fun. This has been just such a enjoyable and profound treat. Ooh. Maybe we get a fancy recipe here. Wait, Facium. This game is dangerous like that? 
Alright, we got nanites. And oh, I have an inventory slot still. That's good. There's some loot right there. Let's grab that first. Getting into taming creatures will also be fun. Oh, no. No, I don't... <sighs> Pets are a lot of responsibility, chat. I don't want that kind of responsibility. Look, you gotta, you gotta talk about it. I'm not gonna be at home a lot. I'm gonna be out flying. That's just irresponsible, right? That's just, that's just really irresponsible. Who's gonna walk it? Are you gonna walk it? I don't think so. All right, so here's the plan. Uh, let's head back to space. I think it'll be easier to get there than to land on my... Yeah, my, my base doesn't even have a launch pad. So we're going to go back to the space station, teleport to our base, organize everything, and then move on with our life. Wait. Oh, go to the space anomaly. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Hello? That, that's... Always very startling. You're taking off now? Oh, it's fine. I don't I'm not too worried about folks coming and joining me here. Honestly, I'm more excited for people to like if people are interested in playing together, I'd I'd rather people spend time checking out the big dripper, and then I can have a chance to join there rather than like folks coming and joining me where I am. You were on a planet yesterday that had little tiny space turtles? That's amazing. Alright, I'm not going to accidentally friend somebody this time. Is the big dripper up yet? That would be a question for not me. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks, Invitare. Have a good one, friend. Hello. What's up, Nada? All right. All right. So apologies. Uh, time for some Dave spokesman's here. Nada. Nada saw a signal, traveler friend. Did you connect with Artemis? Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have. It seems Artemis has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this entity traveler, friend. But Nada advises caution. Who is N Who is Artemis? Artemis was is a traveler entity, one like you. Nada has made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis, but different iteration. Another way for Artemis to be. <laughs> or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules. They would punish us. You can't believe I'm doing not a dirty like this? How else can you possibly read this dialogue out loud? This is him. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I did I can't. <laughs> What's this? Cuboid room light box. Oh, look at all these other things I can buy now. Am I supposed to get a thing here? Why did it tell me to click on this? Significant salvage data accumulated. Oh! It's just telling me to dump some of this. Okay. Oh no! He just died in permadeath? I'm so sorry to hear that, friend. That's Dave Spokesperkin. That's exactly what we're talking about, away she went. 
Um, medium refiner? Ooh, better refineries. Yes, please. Communication station. Well, that's messages for people to come by. Appearance modifier, don't care. Autonomous, autonomous mining unit. Oh, God. It's uranium. So there's the landing pad. Uh, I don't know if I actually want to click on that or not. Galactic trade terminal. Oh, that seems really important. Wait. Hold on. You have too much salvage data on you. I only have three. I feel like I'm being lied to here. Is, is the game bugged? That's not nada. I feel like it's trying to tell me to do something I don't want to do here. In every universe, Corvax Convergence Crave non-compliant not a shell. I would be murdered, traveler friend. <laughs> Nada must resist. Nada likes who Nada is. Is my quest bug chat? Speak with Polo and other life forms. Okay, there we go. Nada friend guides lost anomalies to our home. Makes them safe from the Crimson Hunter. Nada is great friend. Ask for Atlas Station coordinates. Polo nods. Serious. They send coordinate data from an Atlas Station to my Starship computer. There is a strange space station in the system, an anomaly outside of the day-to-day. -day. Okay. Right, I need to speak to you about Artemis. Gotcha. Perhaps Artemis has forgotten us. That would be sad. Or, I would like to think Artemis has traveled somewhere when they have not met us yet. Oh great, time travel! Continue to help Artemis. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and atlas stations. Polo smiles and sends location of a black hole. Okay. Is it just going to tell me to buy stuff again? Spend salvaged data. Sure. I'm going to... I'll buy literally one thing. Okay. Are we Are we cool? You can just leave now. Alone amidst the stars, Artemis the Explorer. Calibrate the translator. Okay. We have the Atlas Path. Reach the black hole. Cool. So, I don't really have... Oh, I have 900 nanites still. Hold on. Before we bounce, let's, uh... Let's take a look at what's for sale. So, what was the one that people are always stoked about? Um, we managed to get a free launch system recharger on our current ship, which is kind of cool. Phase beam. Oh! It's a beam weapon for asteroid mining. That's kind of funny. Alright. 
personal refiner is the good one. That's a good call. Uh, I think I remember that being like 500, which we have on us. Base research station. Oh, it looks like I got a free upgrade behind me too. Or a paid upgrade behind me. So, the personal refiner is... Where the heck is it? Wait, I already own it. I just haven't built it yet. Oh! That blueprint is already known. Well, that's awkward. Oh, this is the other one I wanted, but it takes phosphorus. This is one that lets us recharge in the air. That's kind of cool. Um, let's take a look at what these actually cost. User's able to swim underwater for a longer amount of time. That's kind of cool. But this is just a this is just a recipe. This isn't actually a permanent upgrade. So I have to buy it and then I have to build it. I'm gonna buy this one. I really want that later. Fuel efficiency. Living pearls. I mean, whatever. 471. Ah, let's hold on to this for now, just in case. I want another tech slot. It's what I want. Wait, how much is this? 5,000 for cargo. Yeah, I want this tech slot. The one that you recharge the air isn't worth it because... No, I think it is. It's like... I don't know if you're watching the whole time, but I was complaining about the behavior of um, wanting... Because it doesn't let you tap. It doesn't let you break your fall more than once. Like, the way a jetpack is set up right now is as soon as you start flying, you basically run out of gas and you just hit the ground. But being able to sort of, like, change and have a little bit of control in the air sounds very useful. Very, very useful. Or for at least the way I like to play the game. All right, we're taking the ship to the space station. Then we're going to teleport down to our base, and then we're going to switch some stuff around. All right, where is the station? Hello. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Not sure it's going to fix what you don't like? Yeah, only one way to find out. Happy to give it a try. Alrighty. So my goal of upgrade ship and upgrade multi-tool have both been a huge success. I'm like really, really excited about that. I think the thing I need to do is load in the old ship, clear out the inventory, clean some up, some stuff up in general. Oh my god, what is this? Who are all these people? Why can I travel to their bases? Maybe I just met a bunch of players in the, um, in the anomaly. These are all open multiplayer folk. Hmm. Okay, so first thing I need to do is get inside. First thing I need to do is make some magnetized ferrite.
I really wish this game took a little bit better advantage of the fact that it was on a computer. Let me put in numbers, but you know, it is what it is. All right. We got that. Next. Start cleaning up all this rust. Next. Wrong one. Next, let's start uh, cooking some of that space goo. Yeah, this is a console first game. Totally. All right. So, gold, microprocessors, chromium, platinum. All these made up words that I, I don't recognize. They can all live in here. Probably carbon two. A high hydrogen jelly, whatever. Pyrite. Alright, next thing we want to do is we want to summon our old ship. And I just want to check the inventory here. <laughs> Goodbye, tree. Yes, see? This is why we check warp cells? Oh my god. Wait, I can hit X and make that way faster. There we go. Okay, the only thing we don't have is activated copper. So I need 45, 60, and 50. Alright, that's one more fix. And look at this! Other than the ones that need the magical copper. One and two. We have completely repaired this entire ship. That's so cool! Wait, hold on. If I put this here, do I get a, um, a synergy? It looks like I do. Launch cost is 20% cheaper. Are we going to do base building after this? No, 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 no. It's time to go to a new system. I think, I think that's the plan. Hold on, let's check the log really quickly here. Or maybe I should try building the, uh, Calibate the Translator first. Hold on, let's do the Translator first. Construct the Translator. Why doesn't this show up in my inventory? Maybe this is another moment where I have to like reload a save here. Let's try reloading and see if it fixes that patch again. Got to find one of them diorite planets so we can learn star killing technology. I don't quite follow. That's a joke. <laughs> Thank you. 
Construct the Artemis Translator. What's going on? Why is it telling me to build something that I can't build? <clears throat> oh, it's a technology. Okay, one microprocessor, 100 copper. Never mind, we got there. We got there. All right, technology installed. Great. Life support. And then this is the shield recharger. Okay. Um, I'm going to put these ion batteries back in here. So now put this away, put this away, put the gold away, put the pure ferret away, the copper away, put the chromium away. So now, speak with aliens on planets and space stations to learn their dialect. Now, I believe... I can go to a whole new area with this, right? Like, this isn't specific on any planet. I don't see the, the red marker. Wait, I do see the marker? No! Alien life form. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure... I'm going to do it somewhere else. Not even pretty sure. It's time to go to a brand new system, chat. I want to start scanning stuff again. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to this platform. And then we're going to do a jump from this platform to a brand new place, and we're going to continue the main quest line from there. I'm very excited. We're only uh, six ish hours in, <laughs> and we're finally doing this jump. To the galaxy map. Orbital station coordinates received. Anomaly detected? What does that mean? All right, I guess, I guess we're going to Arduin. Aren't we? Looks like it's got... Uh... Oh, it's a Gek world. Cool! Now, unfortunately, that means all of the hard work we've learned... All the hard work we've done with the uh, the Viking language... Won't be as useful here, but uh, gives us a chance to start diving into some new stuff, too. Anomaly detect is because you asked for an art of the station. Sorry, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm supposed to explore that instead? All right, the first thing we want to do here is we want to find the station in this world. There it is. So that we have a checkpoint. Oh, cool. The architecture is different. I guess this is what the Gek one looks like, eh? Check out freighters? Maybe. I have enough things that distract me as it is right now. I don't really want to worry about freighters. One thing, I don't want to do base building stuff, and I'm pretty meh on freighters right now. Let me, let me feel more comfortable about, like, 
exosuit upgrades, ship upgrades, and multi-tool. And then maybe, maybe I'll dip my toes in freighter later. See, it even rhymed. But as it is right now, I feel, I feel as though, ooh, look at them all. I feel as though I need to do less rather than more. All right, uh, let's spend a couple minutes here learning as many words as we can. I got some presents as well. Two, I know a number. All right, these are trade people. So let's try and find words pertaining to trade and their language. Okay, we have units. Who are you and what have you done with Surge? Oh, I'm still the same old. It's like, why do the same thing I do in every game when I can do a new thing in the new game, right? Yeah, I, yeah, trust me, enough people have told me about the free freighter, I am aware. But, what if I just simply didn't? Alright, we learned the word spawn. Kind of weird. Always Gek. Great. Um, I didn't, that one pretty fast, I didn't see that one. Friend. Good. Ooh, teach me about friendship. I've learned the word for despair. Oh, hold on. Time out. I said teach me about friends. Uh-oh. Friend. Friend, Gek. All right, they're friendly. Trade. Uh, the word give. So, trade... Gak friendship. That's my that's my hierarchy of words I want to learn right now. Wait. Clicked on you already. How's that possible? Visited. Oh, they're moving. How dare you move on me? You're making it so hard for me to click on you all. Ooh, this one looks like a chameleon. Are you just counting? I learned the word for reward. Visited. Visited. All right. I think that's most of them here for now. Okay. The next thing we want to do while we're here is I want to find the, um, I want to find the map maker. There we go. Cartographer. Well, that's a few light years between, between friends. Exactly. All right. Hello, friend in maps. Look at this. I want to get a couple more of these alien ones here. So let's get, I don't know, let's get three of these. Because that'll give us a starting point. Next, let's go across. Let's get ourselves another inventory upgrade. Fifty thousand. I think I want another tech upgrade, honestly. Do I care to buy anything from you? No. Let's see what kind of tool we have in stock here. Ooh. The nano focuser 35 slot S class. Oh wait, that's B class. Hold on. What? Comes with a terrain manipulator. Ooh. Oh, if I hadn't put in this S-Class Analyzer, crap. Chat, why did I do it? This is what we wanted. Oh, it's so good. But I would lose my S-Class Scanner. Not much of a damage upgrade. Yeah, but look at all the slots. I don't even have stuff to put in there, but imagine the potential. <laughs> It does look like a lateral trade, and also we got this for free. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's wait for an A or an S. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, right. It's a new station, which means there's people I can steal from. I, I mean, there are credits available. 
for the taking, right? Wait, hold on. Can you teach me words? Nope, nope, don't want to talk to you. Nope, 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 nope. Get out of here. This is the weird base building stuff. Not this side, other side. That's the door I want. Do I have anything on me that I want to sell? Not yet. One thing we are looking for, though, is a artifact swap -a thing, right? Wait. Ooh, search. Ooh, there was carbon in the plants. More carbon. Not quite the loot I was hoping for, if I'm honest. All right, friends. Time to set foot on a brand new world. God, I'm excited. Look how popular this destination is. People love this system. Here's the first world we're going to. Ooh. All right, so far the world is pink and it has fluffy clouds. Good start, good start. All right, what do we know about this place? Oh my God, it, it disobeys the laws of gravity. So. <gasps> Warning. External temperature, 23 degrees. Okay. Painful mist, amazing. I'm on the planet Puck. Okay, I can breathe the air here. That's good. Yeah. Welcome to Zendikar. Ooh, look how zoomy you are. All right, how much money am I getting? 50,000 for that scan? 20,000 for that scan? Let's go. Your little hoppy hop. Oh, I love you. Look at these weird ground squids. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna click on the shrine in a second here. At first, are you underground creatures? Oh, they are. All right, hold on, chat. We're going underground. Where are they? Hello? This way. Where the heck are they? You ever see that movie Tremors? I have. You think that's what we're looking for now? 
Are they not underground? Are they in the ground? Have I tried enlarging my beam? Literally just did it. Where did they go? Looking for the red dots. Am I accidentally killing the, the, the floor on fauna here? Like, what's happening right now? Where are you? Come out! Above me? Hey, what's up, Max? Okay, I think twenty thousand dollars for that plant. Ooh. Yeah, welcome to Zendikar chat. Oh cool! Wow, there's a, an abandoned ruin right there. Alright, well, I guess let's give up on those animals. Which makes me very sad to say. And let's, uh, let's do some adventuring here. Alright, we learned the word for the... We learned the word for I... And we learned the word for... You! Aha! Aha! I saw you! Ooh, $80,000! Nice. The Gek spawn you. And the... A small winged creature lands at the very top of the monolith. Suddenly, its eyes glow red. And its head revolves in full circle. It screams for mercy in an ancient voice that wants itself dead. The animal has poor, clearly broken its neck, but some power of possession animates it. So we did see the word end. Uh, thank you very much for using my humble code at this particular moment. Uh... The only word I understood from the translation said end. This is heavy. What a what a thing. I shoot it. The creature is no more. The monolith is pleased and rewards my actions. I am released from the vision. Oh, I don't like this. You've learned the word traveler. Okay. Th that's it? I learned some words? Locate a portal. So th this just taught me words? Sometimes it's like a bunch of words at once though, right? Oh, and I increased my standing with the Gek. Okay. So just over this hill, I believe, there was a... There was an ancient ruin. 
Let's go check that out. Maybe we can get some totally sweet fossils. This large beam seems larger than my previous one. I, I feel as though the upgrade has made this more powerful than its predecessors. Okay, uh, let's go this way now. Woo! -hoo! Yo. All right, gun upgrade feels uh, pretty good right about now, friends. Holy moly. Alright, Ancient Key, the second get. So my opinion on using oil instead of butter? Oh, I'm definitely on Team Butter. But look, if you want, uh, if you want to cut down, maybe make it a little bit lighter, oil's probably fine. The one thing that people say a lot for grilled cheese that I've never tried myself is uh, mayo. Alright, so there's three keys. That should be enough for us to get the large crate now. Alright, it's been a while since we've gotten a big money, big money underground thing. Come on. Come on, gold tier. Give me that money. Ha <laughs> ha! Apparently all I had to do was ask about it. 2,500 year old poisonous clippings. Worth one million dollars. One million dollars. Not too bad. All right, what else is nearby here? There's an unknown building, let's go. This also gives us a chance to uh, scan new plant life. Unidentified plant. Casual 20,000 for that new plant. Not bad. Hey! Oh, I can't summon my ship here. Okay, I thought... Oh, no! This is not a building game. This, what, what part of this is a building? Hold on, time out. Hold on. Do I not know what a building is? Ooh! S-Class Underwater Protection Module? Sure. Don't mind if I do. So am I getting, am I getting experience on my quest here to like calibrate my, calibrate the translator. There we go. Visit the life form and locate yourself on the star chart. Visit the life form. Oh, what? It's a specific one. Oh wait, no potential assistance. Is it on this world?
Hold on. There's things for me to scan. So rocks are not worth money. It's all about it's all about plants, eh? Do you still get like a totally sick bonus if you scan every living thing on a planet? All plants and animals in the system or on a planet? Like, do you have to go to every single planet in the system to get that bonus? Okay, it's per planet. Okay, that's more doable. more info about that on the discoveries tab. Okay. So let's take our ship and let's go check out whatever this is. So we can get some quest progress while we explore this world as well. Give myself a little bit more air here. What a neat planet. I love that everything here just like swims in the earth. That's very cool. You know what we're gonna do? Instead of like rushing towards it, let's slowly fly and sort of like check things out while we go. Cause now that we have the rechargeable launcher, I'm not too, too worried about like the economy of what we're doing. Oh, never mind. I'm going to be there in like 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, two minutes. All right. So yeah, let's keep our eyes peeled for buildings or other things that look kind of cool. Maybe like a biome change. Okay, biome change. Let's uh, let's find a place to land here. Sure. Planets are all one biome. Oh, are they? Oh, oh no 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 no. Why would you land here? What? Oh, what the buh? Rainbow. Okay, everybody, remember we parked in the hole. It's okay, my streamer spidey senses were tingling. Look at this. Look at all the cool stuff I just found. So that's just a transmitter. There's no loot there, but I can summon my ship to me. That's actually kind of legit because my ship is currently in the bottom of a hole. And I think this also gives me a free launch if I summon it to here. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. 
You know what? I don't often do this. Hold on. I don't often do this, but... Let's just add the word Zendikar into here. <laughs> We're uploading it. All right. This is now Zendikar. Look. I couldn't resist. Funny. Ooh, what are you? Hello. Is this a greenhouse? What is this? Oh, bird. Gotcha. Seventy, eighty thousand for that. All right, not much loot here, but. But, oh my goodness. Wait, is that two crashed freighters here? Because I saw another big sphere. Yeah, look at this. All right, chat, uh, left or right? Which one do you want to start with? How spectacular is that? To the left? All right, Brooks. Brooke was uh, first there. You're gonna need that portal one? All right, hold on. Some of you wanna come visit this? Let me do it after I'm, before I leave, I'll share it. But no, I get, I get first look at everything. So I'm not sharing this one yet. You can wait, you can wait. <laughs> I'll share it with y'all after. Oh, I can summon my ship here, too. Hello. Log extraction complete. Life goes on, day after day, delivering after... I hope to go home soon. The life of a... is not one for me. Multiple central energy signatures detected, requiring immediate... Dropping out of warp. There. There's the sentinels. What are they doing? Fighting each other. The ships are engaging each other, ignoring us. For now. They appear to have departed. There! Distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. Wait. We've... we've... what? Did I get anything cool out of that or no? Okay, uh, let's scan for stuff here. Cargo pod. Okay, the little boxes are nothing. They're just decorative. Ooh. All right. First things first. What do we get? Wait. Requires cobalt? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cobalt? No, they all need it? Crap. Yeah, we gotta have to go find some caves, aren't we? It's okay, there's a cave literally right here. 
So if there's 60, that, or pardon me, if there are 10 each, it means we need 60. Cobalt? Are you cobalt? Cobalt! Haha! -ha! All right, I need 60 of this. Oh, I got a geode. Is that accounting for the other freighter as well? All right, let's go to 200 then. That's a good call, just in case. Good for selling. There we go. That should be plenty for now. Anything else to scan while we're down here, though? Well, that was a tremendously efficient and short detour. <laughs> oh, what's that? All right, back to the loot. Superheated rainstorm coming. That sounds like it sucks. Where's the entrance? Is it literally this? Oh, God. Every side except for the one I tried. Perfect. All right, repaired. Does this count as... Oh, jeez. Uh, ship, 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 ship. All right. Uh, <laughs> seems like a great opportunity to take a very short pee break while we wait for the um, 100 degree rain to stop. I will be right back. Hi, everybody. Can't help but notice it's still super dangerous outside. Don't want to die, so let's just chill here. What do we get? We got a salvaged frigate model. Ooh. A technology module harvested from the remains of a large interstellar starship. Maybe collected from freighter crash sites. Okay. 
Useless in its current form. Huh. So, so far this planet has gotten us a lot of money. Because we also have this million dollar ancient clippings. So that's good. Maybe I maybe I hook up one of my frigate friends, because I don't know, or freighter friends, because I don't know if I'm if I really care. Uh, that's a buried cache. All right, what are we doing next? So it turns out this planet is kind of cute, but also kind of murdery. Don't you hate that? Actively on the hunt for those. Well. Maybe we'll get another one. Got some launch fluid or fuel fluid. What have we got in this one? More fuel. Okay. Forgetting how radioactive it is. More fuel. Um, did I get that one already? Anti-matter housing. Mm. Meh. Uh, maybe that's not that meh. Maybe that's fine. So, did I get them all here? There's a cargo pod, cargo pod this way. Come on, jetpack. Come on, jetpack. Ooh, antimatter. Okay, so those two things combined means we got a free warp from this as well. You want to play some sci-fi games? Heck yeah. I think that was five? Does that sound correct, all y'all? And there should be six, though, right? No, I think that was all of them. Now there was another one nearby. I think it's this way. Yep, sure is. Looks like there's one up top. That said buried cache. 
as opposed to the cargo hold, which is a different thing. How you doing, Fisher? Good morning, friend. Hello to Australia, who are just starting their day. What is that? Oh, those are rocks that I can scan. I got them all. Nice. I appear to be stuck on some geography here. We have another freighter one here. Let's see if we get a different message this time. Survey says... Log damaged. All right, hook me up. My love, I dive into a black hole tomorrow. I know we agreed not to. I warned them about... Advisability of such a large vessel moving through the rift, but they are arrogant, vain creatures, are they not? We emerged into the skies above the anomaly. Reality itself has abdicated here. Vast hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet, now become the plaything of our unseen foe. I fear I will not be back home for time. We drank the water. My love, forgive me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's cobalt as well. All right, another antimatter. Very good. Ooh, just a straight up a warp cell. Wow. Cool. Uh, where do we go now? Cargo pod this way. Okay. Was I too fast? What did I get? Oh, I looted it way too fast. Okay. I have to wait for the message. I can't... I tried to click on it and run before the radiation could hit me. Alright, we got some uh, launch fluid. Or fuel, rather. How toaster can a computer could you need for this? I have no idea. But, like, they have the system requirements listed on it, right? my love. The game did come out five or six years ago, exactly. Ooh, what's that? Oh, $56,000? Yo, that ain't nothing. That's nothing. We're, we money bags now. A little depressing that they think that's all my time is worth. Uh, there should be at least one more here.
Alright, what do we got now? Another antimatter. This has been... I mean, it's been fine, I guess. Is it weird that I kind of wanted more? Is that greedy? Alright, how are we doing now? Ooh, unstable gel. I don't even know what that means. So I got an unstable gel crafted from cactus. It's worth $50,000. So all in all, I got one frigate module. I got a warp cell as well as the materials to craft like a couple more warp cells. I got a ridiculous amount of launch fluid and I got about 100,000 credits. That's across two. What do you think? Should I get this game? I like games like Astronaut or Valheim. I got kind of them after a while. Yeah, I mean, if you like those games, you'll probably like this too. This is, I don't know, kind of reminds me of Skyrim, honestly. Yes, there's a plot, but you're also going to get distracted checking stuff out. It's also like 30 bucks, so... <laughs> that seems kind of worth. Now, people are telling me I could also upload these freighter crashes. How do I do that? I got 100 nanites. I have no idea if I uploaded the uh, the freighter or not. Sodium, copper. Mm. Yeah, I am kind of excited for the Valheim update. I just hope there's enough going on in the next Valheim release. The uh, Home and Hearth Valheim release is up, which adds all the home building stuff. Adds a bunch of food changes. I don't know if it also added the new biomes yet or not. New biomes and new bosses. Because that's going to be the big deal maker for me. Alright. Um, wait, what's that? Buried cash. Uh, let's grab that just in case. Because that could be like an upgrade or something cool. You don't upload freighters? Look, chat, you need to stop contradicting yourself. If somebody in chat tells me I can upload a freighter... And then I go to do it, and then somebody else in chat makes me look like I'm dumb. What do I do? Do I just stop believing Twitch chat? Can't be good. I haven't had an original thought in three years. Every every idea I have is because somebody in chat told me something. <laughs> just stop being wrong, chat. <laughs> I just need you to stop being wrong. Some of them are very helpful, Matt. Sometimes Twitch chat can be very helpful. Ooh, look, I'm in a cave. Hello. Hey, what's up, mediocre game? Thank you so much for that brand new sub. I really appreciate it. Wait, hold on. Can I? Why can't? Why can't I dig anymore? Stop! Why can't I dig? Ooh. Yo, Mediocre Game with five gift subs as well. That's so generous. Welcome to Adamus Ronald McDownload. Oh my god, what a name. Uh, the React Legionnaire, Vivian Shade, and Token Mikus. It's bugged? No. No. My cash. My loot. I'm just sad. Oh. I see how it is. Some members of chat lie and some only tell the truth, but I only get one question to figure out which is which. Ah, no. I'm ruined. Alright, uh, let's head back to my ship. Where's my ship? It's up somewhere, somehow? Hey, Goombalax. Yo, thank you so much for that resub. The two months. I really appreciate it. Up we go. Wait. What is this? Oh, that's really funny. I found one of the caches. Or a wing or something underground. Thanks for the years of entertainment here at Unloading Ready Run. Yo, thank you so much, friend. I really appreciate that. Alright, back to the quest. 
Yeah, 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 Joe. That's before I leave the planet, not this area, sweetie. I want you to know, chat, that Joe has your back. She's like, don't leave. You promised to tell chat. And I was like, I'll share my planet when I'm done with it. Thank you very much. This is my planet. All right. I was told, I was told to indiscriminately start shooting. Oh, wait a second. I was told, see, chat's lied to me again. Oh, there's my carbon. Okay. I was told just to fly around and carpet bomb. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Um, where's... There it is. This way. We're taking our sweet time. We're going to get distracted. We're like... We're window shopping, right? If we see anything cool while we're flying around, we're going to stop. Check it out. Having a Monday where your body refuses to wake up? I... I'm actually quite proud of myself. I had, like, my first really good workout in, let's just say since March. March. And I woke up this morning, like, mega sore. Same sort of thing where I was like, ah, what if I, what if I didn't rush out of bed? Oh, right, I can scan for stuff. Aha! Unknown building. It's probably at the destination. I suspect these are the same place. After 10,000 years, you got yourself a pair of dumbbells. Oh, I should get, um, at the recommendation of my friend Olivia, I'm thinking of picking up a kettlebell as like a good home workout thing. Currently, my home workout gear is uh, like full water bottles. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, look at this. Hi, I'd like to land, please. Oh, you know what this place is probably going to have? Is an artifact exchange, right? Let's, uh, let's make friends first. Hello. Friend! Alright, I have a relic for you. How do I get motivated? Um, it's good... One, because I sit in front of a computer all day, I really worry if I don't do neck and shoulder stretches, my body, like, locks up. So I have to do it or else I can't work. Uh, and two, I have really bad insomnia. Like, really bad insomnia. I've struggled with it for decades. And if I don't do something to super tucker myself out, I just don't sleep. So doing, like, a stretcher workout is uh, a good way to sort of help help my brain brain better. No, I didn't want to practice. I wanted a free word. Uh... God, friend. I clicked the wrong button. All right, teach me your word, please. Uh, we want trade. Okay, we got the word for offer. I love the variation in the GAC. There's fear in its eyes. Have a present. Teach me more tongue. That came out wrong. <laughs> Teach me more of your language is what I meant to say. All right. I got the word for first. Oh, I can practice. Hi. Oh, friend. Gek trade protocol forbids transactions with beans of unknown credit history. Through the garble of the translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact. Oh, wow. Okay, so my quest now is actually to be friends with the Gek. <laughs> okay, right. So you won't talk to me. I need to talk to other people first. You want to take that again, Jaeger? Yeah. No. Here's another one I can just talk to. Giving them relics? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving them lots of... I know how to make friends. I just don't have the way to do that yet. We'll get there. I just need more relics. Friend. Alright, the word for need... 
All right, so I've learned four new words here. Um, we're going to sell this unstable gel, and we're going to sell this box of poisonous clippings if the price is good. Whoa, what? Hold on, why are these prices so cheap? Buying these things for like 40% off seems like a really good way to make some money. Am I... Should I buy them all, chat? Like, is this not a real opportunity to make some serious cash right now? Or is that is that being silly? Not worth? Not even the ones that are worth 23,000 at 26% off? Oh, they've been nursed recently? Okay, okay. It's worth it if I have a bigger ship. Sure. I just see, look, I see 70% off and I think to myself, I should buy those. That seems like a deal. Anyways, let's sell this gel. And let's see what the price they're offering for our... Oh, plus 3.5%. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. We're about to get a million dollars richer, chill, chat. Billion dollars richer. I'm just looking at 26% off these $23,000 ones. What if I only bought these? What if I only bought these? What if we only tried one? Or am I, are you just, am I just wasting money? Talk me out of it, chat. Talk me out of it. 26%. It's a steal. It's definitely not worth it. Don't do it. Okay. 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 Give it a shot and learn. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I don't think anything has convinced me more not to do it than that. You're practically making money by buying them. Ooh. So let me see if they have an artifact exchanger here. I don't think they do. This looks like a relatively small one. So. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, famous. I've met 40 different aliens. All right. So here's the next plan. We need to hang out. We need to befriend the Gek. We need to get our Gek reputation up. And how do I see that? Is that under discoveries? Milestones. The Gek. All right. So currently we're a valued customer. So we need to get a little bit more friendly. So we're a close ally to the Viking. So I need four more. So here's what we're going to do. I have another planetary chart. Wait, pilots sell relics? I can just buy them? Really? What is there for character appearance customization? Quite a lot. You can choose different races and stuff like that. I haven't dipped into it too much, but apparently, yes, it exists and you can do it. What do you think? Should we explore random planetary charts or some people in chat are saying I could also do missions if I want rep? I think it's a little late in the day for missions today because I have already been going for like six and a half hours. So let's do one, maybe two more planetary charts and then maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow we can do some missions in this area. What do you think of that plan? Alien monolith detected. All right, two minutes until we're at this one. I'm basically rocking the equivalent of the Minecraft Steve skin. What's wrong with Steve? What's wrong with the OG? But yeah, if I was going to do more multiplayer, I'd probably get myself a custom skin. Oh, that's so funny. 
Right, so we're still in the tutorial. The game is basically saying, hey, you need to do missions in order to get your rep high enough. I like that. No, I don't want to tame any creatures right now, Farley. It's a lot It's a lot of responsibility to have a pet, and I don't think I'd be a very good or loving owner. You don't just get pets and leave them on planets, okay? It's also easy nanites. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, Netair. Man, we got so much done today. New ship, new multi-tool, some meta progress. We practice flipping ships. We practice repairing a ship from scratch. Like, this feels good. This feels really good. No, no, no. Don't don't tell me how to get around the pet thing. Except my no chat. <laughs> I have given a reason. Whether it is valid or not. Whether you can try and logic my way through it. I'm, I'm, I don't want to do pets. I don't want to do pets. I don't want to do base building. Ow, I flew into a tree. All right. Stop, stop, easy. Wait, is it still like murder hot outside? Kinda hoping the storm would have stopped by now. Oh, wow, what perfect timing. We land here. Ooh, wait, oh, that's another planet. Oh my God. Sorry, this is probably one of my favorite things about No Man's Sky, is check this out. You can see another planet from this planet. Isn't that spectacular? You want to feel like you're actually in an alien environment? It's so pretty. Anyways, where was I? Unknown building. Okay. Oh, I'm on a moon, and that's the planet? Oh, that's spectacular. That's so cool. I totally missed which word I just learned, because... I mean, yeah. Alright, what do we learn now? We learned the word for is. Alright. We're learning the word for... For four. Okay, perfect. Good. Alright, Riddle Master. What, what is your test? Beware! Despair! <laughs> well, that's not good. The only two words we know don't give me a lot of confidence on this particular one. I learned two is four, thank you. The ancient structure swings open to reveal a body encased in ice. It's a patchwork of different body parts. Ragged beak appears to have been stitched on with animal gut. Dude, the Gek don't mess around with their shrines here. I don't like these. A handwritten sign. You can see above its head. Some sort of fuel would melt the ice. Abandon it. Beware. If we beware, we do not melt the ice. It remains trapped and I am thanked by the spirits that live here. Heck yeah. No, 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 no. If it's a story thing, don't spoil it. That's the sort of thing that's just a spoiler. Yeah, let let me learn things about like the lore myself. The panel swings shut. The abomination. All right, I am thanked, and I learned the word for the ooh freestanding chat. Freestanding. Don't mind if I do. What do we have here? There's a knowledge stone in that direction. There's a knowledge stone in that direction an unknown building an hour that way. Let's go to that building. Unless I literally just came from there. Wait, monolith arrive in two hours. No, it's unknown.
I'm really worried that that's the base we literally just came from. But for whatever reason, it just didn't add in. Does that make sense or no? Because, like, that's the direction we came from, too, right? Unknown means you haven't been there. I guess I flew over it? I'm just wondering why... Why it showed up on my hub. Oh, maybe it's the one that I scanned for with the ship. Alright, well, let's check it out. Oh man, the satellite beacon to the left here is freaking out. Raise your standing with the GAC. One of two. Alright. I mean, that was easy. For whatever reason, I'm suddenly reminded of the fact that I haven't been on a plane in years. I miss flying. No, I really don't. I miss going to cool places. I don't miss flying. Being on planes sucks. <laughs> Just like, what am I saying? The smell, the noise. Ugh. Just imagining being that close to that many people nowadays. No, oh, thank you. The sitting. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, chat, but this looks exactly like where I literally just was. Why is it saying unknown? You love flying? Do you? I love falling asleep and waking up somewhere new. So, I hate to tell you this, I'm pretty sure this is literally the one we've already been to. Yeah. Why am I back here? Why did it say I hadn't been here before? Why did you lie to me, game? Why did you lie? All right, and then I also believe the... There's a marker for me here. Is there? Woo. Is it maybe in space? Hmm. What's up, Gamma? All right, let's use our next map item here. Planetary chart, where are we going? Alien monolith detected. Yeah, 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 I mean, I know what the, the hex is, but there was another little monolith logo. So you could see it up at the top of the screen. Just wondering what which that one is, because it's not showing up in this UI, but there is a monolith that's marked. You like flying internationally? Granted, which airlines I used mattered. Enjoy the view above the clouds. There is a sense of wonder of being in the sky, which is quite cool. But the whole process can feel, like, very tiring, very invasive. God, if it takes me back to the same monolith, that'd be kind of troll. Oh, maybe the issue we're experiencing is how low-class Canadian and American airlines are? In comparison to Asian ones? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they're very functional. There's no 
There's no thought for the experience, right? You're like, this is this is a thing that gets you from point A to point B. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, hello, Monolith. I have arrived. I did love flying over cities and like looking down at the road system and stuff like that. That's always so cool. Cities are so weird, right? All right, we learned the word for not. All right, good. We learned the word for A. What is it not? It's not a and. All right. Oh, tell me your words. Underling, the Gek first spawn, help, give. Underling, the Gek first spawn, help, give. I see a ragged claw grab at me. Despite being broken and fragmented, it holds me tight while a metallic beak emerges from the living rock. I'm going to give it something. Remember, it said it need help. It said give. I give it to it. The metallic hand releases its grip and grabs at my offering. I have perhaps appeased an ancient evil. Hey, let's go. I have learned the word for infinite. And look at that. All kinds of people saying, spend money, buy relics, or what if I just two for two no scope it? What then, Twitch chat? See, you're trying to give advice assuming I wasn't a gamer. I got newsflash for you. Apparently I am. Gonna treat myself to a little buried cash here as a little little something something to myself. I just went through a hill. <laughs> All right, what I get? Salvaged data. Okay, and wait. No. Oh. What, there's two things? Oh, that's so funny. There was a buried tech and a buried cache on top of each other. Discarded vacuum drive. What does that mean? Discarded vacuum drive. A damaged technology component ejected from its machine and discarded by its owner. What do I what do I do? Do I just I dismantle it? Worthless except as scrap. Okay. Oh, I got a broken Roomba? Oh, that sucks. Last time I did this, I got like an X-Class technology. I want my money back. How dare they not respect my time like that? Wait, what's this? Buried mineral formation. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's grab that knowledge stone, and then I think maybe we call it a day? And I'll be back tomorrow with more. Because I've been going for... Ooh, I got the word for do. Almost seven hours now. Which was funny, because when I started today, I was like, Ah, oh, Joe, I'm not going to stream as long today. Keep having so much fun playing this game, I can't help it. Well, that was cool. I learned the word for hello! Hello! Amazing. But first. Well, apparently there's buried technology here, so it'd be rude not to.
Today has been a very successful day, friends. I think we've absolutely crushed it. I think we can feel good about everything we got up to. Do we know saves and auto saves? Yep. Yep, yep. Getting in a ship and out of a ship. We're clicking on the things. Do I know about the free freighter? Yep. Yep, yep. Unknown building. You are full of lies, unknown building. You are full of lies. Not only do I know you, you are a known liar. What's that, my love? I wonder if I can name it. No. What's up, Ark? Ooh, wait. I don't know if I've met this yet. Unidentified min mineral. Ooh. What are you full of? You're full of dust. No, oh, that's not good. Cave marrow. Hmm. All right, let's go to space. From space, let's go to the space station. And at the space station, we're going to call it a day there. And I'll come back in... Oh, God. Hours. Literally just hours. For, uh, for round two. For day three. Oh, right. Post coordinates. Crap. Uh, wait. I can give you the coordinates anywhere in the system, right? So if I share it from the from the space station, I think we good. Wait. Hold on. Derelict freighter? Never mind. Wait. Did it crash into the space station? Hold on, chat. Yo, you kept telling me I want to check out this. Oh, God. Where'd it go? No, my freighter. Another time. What do you mean the wrong kind of derelict? Mm. Derelict, rather. The ones you find in space aren't explorable? All right, all right, all right. Cool. All right, we get out, and God, I need to stop myself from playing more of this game. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been a super good time. I appreciate the heck out of y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping. Thank you for chatting. Thank you, everybody, for all the subs and the bits and all the support. Couldn't do this without all of you. Well, we got a good time. I've really, really, really been enjoying playing No Man's Sky. I hope you've been having a good time watching. So I'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with more. So if this sounds like the sort of thing that you want to keep watching... Then, uh, yeah. Hit that follow button. Come join me tomorrow. I'll be back in a day, I guess. Also, a lot of new subs, and we're talking about trying to get the big dripper system going. So if you want to you wanna hang out, do stuff like... Oh, God, the coordinates! Not the coordinates! Oh, I left the game! Ugh. Tomorrow. I'll post it tomorrow. The system is still mine to explore. Sure, I'll say that that was deliberate, and I didn't forget. Yeah, come back and hang out tomorrow. I'd appreciate that. That was absolutely deliberate. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Uh, let's raid my buddy Wiggins. So my buddy Matt is checking out Chrono Trigger. This is a very good human playing a very good game. And he's uh, a very good soul. So go send some positivity. Go say hello to a very dear friend. And yeah, that's right. I've left on a, cr a cliffhanger. You have to come back tomorrow. You're now legally obligated to. You're beautiful. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, my friends.